some time has passed since the current adventurers have uh, made their way out into the adventuring world um, with quite a bit of time to do. Let's go ahead and redo, resolve downtime actions first. So first up is going to be Stryker or Amelia. how much gold I had. I know, right? <laughs> By that, I mean platinum. I have a whopping four in that department. I have 160 platinum. Yeah, <laughs> also, um, Greystone did go to the high-level area and live, so... Facts. Amelia, All right. what would you like to do I for your downtime like, action? I would like some... Customized clothes since she is a Simic hybrid. Okay. Um, ordering those clothes. Well, how nice of clothes are you talking? Like, you give me a good description. Mm, well, they need to be kind of custom fitted based on a uh, like her body. I'm tracking that, but but what do they? Um, what do you want them looking like? Um, pretty much like her picture, you know, to be okay. well fitted. So I'd say for those nicer clothes, um, you could be able to get those custom made uh, for about five gold pieces. Grand total or for each piece? Total. All right, and um, a nice tri-corner hat. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be included? Uh, for a tri-corner hat, I'd say another eh, five silvers. Uh, silvers. Mm -hmm. All right. And do I still have t time? Yeah. Um. Hell yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, monument of heroes. Okay. Um. As you go to visit the monument of heroes, um, you see currently in this graveyard four graves, um, of which you've seen two of the graves there, Patsy and Chris Steele. Uh, you, you, you were there when they died, and it, it holds some sentimental value to you. Um, yeah. Okay. okay for XP boost. Next All right. Map. Uh, next up is mm -hmm. going to be Zod. Oh, all right. So... Um, uh, Zod, Zod went shopping too, but he but he went shopping for like some some uh some some wrist blades. Okay. okay. Can, like, hmm? it, it, does that work? Some wrist blades, like some like hidden dagger type stuff. Yeah, like. I think it's Assassin's it, Creed. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'd say you would be able to get those custom made um, from the blacksmith. Give me one second as I kind of look up some pricing on this. Um, yeah, the the blacksmith is a little confused by your request initially, but after thinking it over, um, <clears throat> he figures out that he can get those custom made. Uh, it's going to cost approximately 10 gold pieces each. So that'd be okay. 20 gold total for a pair of uh, wrist blades um, um, that uh, can be concealed. And, and uh, gold, gold is, is, the, is the fourth one down. On I believe so, yes. Okay, then yeah. But I, 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 I will do one for each wrist. Okay, so that'll be 20 gold. Uh, and go ahead and add two more daggers to your inventory, or two wrist blades, I guess, would be how I'd classify them. All right, how do I do that? Uh, they'll do the same damage as a dagger. Um, I just don't have the range property. <laughs> yes. That's a, that, that that's okay. I've got I've got lots of weapons at my at my disposal. I don't think that's the right word. No. All righty. Um, <clears throat> how do I add that in again? Uh, at the bottom of where it says equipment, hit the plus sign. And type in dagger in the middle. Or oh, wrist, wait. sorry, wrist blade in the middle. 
I guess my question is, are you looking for them to be roughly the size of daggers, easily concealable, or are you looking for like some longer blades that are a little like, harder to conceal but do a little more damage? Like, what What are you looking for? Easy to conceal. Okay, then definitely the daggers. Cool. So whenever you make an attack with those, just make an attack um, with a dagger. And then would, would it be slashing or piercing? Uh, that'll be piercing. So I'll say as a bonus action, can pull both of them out at the same time. Oh, yeah. um, because they were custom made. Um, <clears throat> and so when you make the two attacks, one of them will be normal and then the other will be the offhand. So you will not add your strength modifier to the, or your dex modifier to the damage. And then, how, how do I add that in as as a bonus? Uh, what's that? How do I add in the bonus for the, or the bonus action? I guess. Let me. Oh, you won't need to like to draw them. Like to, to do to do the second blade, I guess. Gotcha. Here, let me let me just add that in here real quick. It's nothing. Dex. How much did healing potions weigh? I can look that up. Never mind. Like 0. 0.5. I did not do so. Right. <clears throat> a healing potion? Half a pound. Okay. Ah. That, that, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Let me finish the other one for you, too. Good. 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 I mean, they're, they're more. They're more for like. They're more for like stealthy stuff, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah, you. You. I, I think. You know, it's great. You understand exactly what I'm going for, and yet I, I still. Feel, yeah, I still feel the need to explain it to you. <laughs> yeah. All right. And actually, let's call it wrist blade. There we go. What, like a Batman wrist blade? Eh, not quite. More Assassin's Creed. I was going to say, does Batman have blades? Yeah. And he Batman does actually. begins. And sure. the blade rings? Oh. <clears throat> I was thinking right. the wrist blades that were like spring loaded somehow. That just yeah. Pop just yeah. Off of pop out. Wrist bracers. Okay. Um. So I'd say that won't take your whole downtime action. Um, Zod, so you can still use a downtime action. Um, and, and then, and then, uh, and then uh, other than that, I, I pretty much hung, hung out at the bar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> hard work That's... drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Zod spent time at the bar drinking. Got it. Okay. Writing it down. Uh, Greystone, you're up. Uh, okay. So I can do shopping and downtime action right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. Depending on what the shopping is, because well, sometimes I buy five potions of healing. Uh, easy enough to do. Um, you can't get them all at once, but going back and forth, requesting them, etc. I've um, been doing this them. for a month. <laughs> exactly. So, I uh, will say fifty gold each for the potion of healings. Potions uh, of healing. Yep. yep. <clears throat> What's that? Ten GP. And they do. Uh, they do two D four plus two healing. Basic potion of healing. Yep. Okay. Two D four plus two. Like that. Yeah. Oh. Um. Then for my downtime action, mm -hmm. uh, I would like to study under uh, study more about paladin yo stuff. Paladin stuff. Okay. Paladin. Um... Paladot. Paladout. <clears throat> Give me a moment. Paladin. Paladin. Paladout. 
Hell of a deal, we. What? That's the uh, basically the <laughs> wisdom, charisma, intelligence. Mm -hmm. Correct. So you get die. a steady dice. Um, if you wanted to spend more gold, you'd get two of them. I've uh, uh, spent about two fifty right now, which is twenty five platinum. So you get you get one steady dice, which is a D four, or you can spend twenty five gold to get two of them. For this, sure, I'll, for this do, mission. I'll do two, so minus okay. 50 gold, which gives me eight. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right. Um, All righty. You spend time in study, um, and you're researching many of the gods uh, of this area. Um, you find... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... You find particular interest, uh, I believe you said in the Tempest one, correct? Yes. The storm? Okay. Um, you, you keep finding a particular interest in uh, this cast-out god of storms and chaos, um, specifically uh, the name El Sifa, the Tempest, um, comes here here, and just kind of the idea of this this stormy, not necessarily chaos, but stormy, just entity, um, and kind of the strength that comes with that appeals to you. Um, <clears throat> you learn more about how uh, El Sifa was uh, beloved by Nymira, the sister god, um, and uh, made a deal with Terith, the brother. Um, to show up on the evening before any great battles occur. Ter Terith, the brother Terith, god. the brother, will show up before... No, no. Um, so El Sifa, the Tempest, will show up on the evening before any great battles. Um causing storms, and that's kind of the deal that El Sifa made with Terith in order to live. Hmm. So okay. the Tempest God will show up before any great battle, mm -hmm. and that's something the God promised to make sure that the God doesn't get destroyed or can live. Pretty much, yeah. That's generally what you get the gist of. <clears throat> all right um okay with that to the kobold's keg to the kobold's keg so um some time has passed before your last adventures uh, you find yourselves in the adventures den within the kobold's keg the three of you sitting around the map trying to discuss um where exactly you'd like to go for this adventure uh, graystone uh, adamant about trying to figure out where the uh, uh, what where this strange weather patterns where they are coming from, uh, and I'll leave it to you. Uh, where where is Domat? Uh, Domat is currently over by the bar. Um, you could motion him over if you like. Domat, come here. I have a oh, question yes, for you. Uh, what can I do for you? Um, where in Independence, unless you would know otherwise, where can I, uh, find out, find someone who studies the weather? Hmm, well, uh, myself, I'm honestly not too terribly versed about the weather, but, uh, uh, you know, Willem, uh, Redwinter over at the library might have, uh, some information. He studies a lot of different things, or, uh, Willem you know, it is Red strange. Weather? Uh, Willem Redwinter. Redwinter. And uh, I believe uh, over if, you know, the, the interesting thing, though, is that if this might be uh, linked to some sort of divine weather control, uh, the Five Point Temple might have a little bit of info for you. I think Lady Brisneth is currently the head. Five Point Temple. Is that where I go to study? It is. And and you would be familiar. Lady Brisneth is a female dragonborn. 
uh, silver dragonborn, a much older woman um, that you've been working with, who's been teaching you um, about the gods. Silver dragonborn? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm, uh, I'm afraid that over here in Independence, uh, <clears throat> those two are the only two that might really have any information. Of course, you're always welcome to ask around. Well, um, if you see any other adventurers looking to study this with me, let them know that I will be speaking to Will and Redwinter if they well, come by. Well, good to know. I'll pass the word along. Oh, uh, thank you. And I'm going to go... Uh, hold on one sec. I forgot where you said he was. Oh, uh, Willem Redwinter, he's over there at the Blue Book Library in town. Uh, he's uh, right down the street off to the left here. All right. A few blocks. Thank you, sir. Very respectfully, I'll make my leave. And he kind of walks out. Okay. Anybody else? I gotta formulate questions. I feel like this would have been the type of quest that Amelia would have drunkenly signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> Just Greystone did it. It's not the most adventurous thing. But Storm while drunk sounds like it'd be awesome and that's how she's getting <laughs> yeah. onto this one. She is probably within a drunken state to join up. Uh, as you're sitting there, Amelia, you hear this this voice behind you. Hey, 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 Striker. Hey. Uh, Cardi, I have not had enough alcohol to deal with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but do we get to? Do we get to? Make some blood, huh? Get to draw it out onto the ground, huh? Is that where we're going? That's, that's not how you make blood. Blood is natural occurring, I thought. Yeah, naturally, when you slice their hands open. <laughs> yeah, Cardi. Okay, okay. He kind of quiets down. Uh, Zod and Greystone, you notice... Uh, you don't exactly see where oh. this voice is coming from. I am... I am... I thought I. Sorry, I thought nobody was there, and I was like the only one there, and then I just left. <laughs> um, like... Zod and Amelia, as you you watch as Greystone <laughs> is currently walking out of the bar, <laughs> apparently oblivious to your guys' um, I didn't know presence. we made the party already. <laughs> thought we had to form the party. Oh, yeah. When I said you guys, you we were sitting there. I meant you, the party. Sorry, not oh. you, Greystone. <laughs> Uh, uh, we can backtrack <laughs> that. Okay, so the three of you are in the bar currently. I, was, and, uh, I feel like this is something Zod would figure out, like talking to like the bartender, the, just or, or just overhearing conversation. Okay, yeah, I mean you can overhear it because you're there by the table. <laughs> exactly. I, Zod thinks he's being sneaky. But everybody knows he's doing. Uh, you're As an assassin. You hide in plain sight, right? Um, exactly. Amelia, is that your name? Mm, kind of looks so uh, regular stone. I. I don't you? believe looking. we've met. What the hell is coming out of your face? Ugh. I believe it might be hair at this point. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I lean over. Wait, where's Zod? At the bar? I go look over at Zod and I just kind of like. Um, like I blush and go over to Zod <laughs> uncomfortably. <laughs> like, I am not comfortable with this situation right now. <laughs> Zod, what are you having to drink? There's a thing over there. It looks kind of like a woman, but it has like a tail and claws <laughs> and weird fin thing coming out of its face. I can't believe I like you more right now. <laughs> I, 
And I, I, as he says this, I'm like, <laughs> I knew you'd come around. Never mind. I'm going back to the the fish face. <laughs> <laughs> muttering under I'm making such a fool of myself <laughs> okay well, do you have the I think for? well I would like to go uh, speak to Willem Redwinter first at the the blue book library so if you'd like to come along Zod you can come too <laughs> I'll, I'll... I'll come because I want to, not 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 because you tell me I can. Storm. I wouldn't Storm expect Blanket. any less of you. Yeah. I may. All right, I'll. Uh, I can accompany you to the library. I mean, not the most dangerous place in the world, but knowledge is power. I... That is exactly what this is: a, a quest for knowledge and power. Mm, power. Kind of getting up and a little bit of a stagger. And... Alright. I'm going to start heading over to the Blue Book Library. I hope you know where you're going because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, 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 I, will, I will follow. Alright, as you guys start making your way down the street, um, currently the weather today is clear um it's pretty early morning pretty warm right now the skies are clear it's very very warm currently um you can feel almost like a heat wave is kind of coming from the the west or the southwest um <clears throat> and you're able to make your way down to the blue book library uh, blue book library is a uh, a building that is about three stories tall or so um and it looks uh, almost like it's kind of tilting way to the left, like it's about to fall. Um, you see this kind of pretty modest uh, entrance at the front with a slight awning and a, uh, a large wooden door. What do you mean modest? It's not very intricate or fancy. It's just very... A very plain entrance, and uh, in a sign with some carved out letters, it just says "Blue Book Library" on the front. All right, walk in. All right, as you head in, um, you see off to the right. Uh, there's some uh, various. It looks like some pretty fine couches with a little coffee table off to your right. On the left side, you see a fireplace with these two big easy chairs. Uh, in front of you, maybe. 20, 25 feet ahead, uh, you see these, uh, you see this counter, um, and behind the counter, you just see row after row after row after row of just books lining the interior. Um, <clears throat> looking up, uh, weirdly enough, from the inside, it doesn't look like the building is slanted at all. Um, it's not tilting to the left or to the right. It's just perfectly vertical from the inside, uh, as if by some sort of magic function. Um, these rows of books you uh, these rows of bookshelves you see you see actually uh, 10 12 14 rows um, of bookshelves that line the interior um, and kind of back behind them you can see a spiral staircase in the back uh, headed upward to higher levels what's the lighting like uh the lighting currently the the fireplace is late it's a little bit dim in here um there's a couple uh candles lit over by the um over by the two couches, but there's also uh, various windows lining the outside, letting a, lot, a fair amount of natural light in. Um, kind of the closer you get to the interior, the, the dimmer the lighting is. How are the books organized? Can uh, I tell if it. they're using the Dewey system? Uh, you could make an investigation check if you're going to go up and check. Okay. Okay. Uh, are they using the Dewey <clears throat> system? Yes or no? As you, you don't uh, <laughs> start, as you start walking back past the counter, um, you just hear this ring, this bright or this very high pitched tone, uh, kind of ringing like it's from the inside of your brain, and you start losing concentration um, for uh, about five ten seconds, and then you it stops, and uh, you look up, and in front of you there's this elderly man and some 
long uh, indigo wizard's robes, and he's got this pointed wizard hat, and he says, Yes, uh, can I help you? Are you Willem Redwinter? Some call me by that name, yes. Uh, uh, Dumat, uh, got, uh, he guided me this way. I'm looking for information on, um, the, some of the strange weather that we've been seeing. The, um, uh, you know how it will, like, rain after it was, it'll rain and then... As you're talking to him, and... he kind of turns away from you and starts walking down the rows of books, muttering, weather, yes, the weather, hmm, weather patterns, just walking away from you currently. Wait, 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 where, where are you, where are you going? And then he stops, turns around and says, I have a few options, and he starts walking back towards you and saying, the weather, yes, the weather, uh... I'm sure you've noticed the weather, right? Yes, it's quite peculiar, um... I do not know the cause of it. Um, I do have records of weather patterns for the last uh, 16 point years. And I do have years? a couple of books on the ways that the weather has been influenced by the gods. Of course, I can't be certain whether or not they're accurate. How much would it I do cost have... to check one of these books out? Or are you purchase only? Is this a library or a bookstore? Because outside it says library. It is, in fact, a library, a collection of various bibliographic texts. Um, I do allow some to come and study. Uh, I allow any in for a modest price of two coppers, of course, to keep operations maintained. Um, you are, of course, welcome to purchase books uh, upon request. Some books I keep for myself. All right. Um, but, so you talked about two different uh, subjects uh, mentioned. Um, weather influenced by the gods. Yes. I would like to check out the most comprehensive book you have on that. And Ross, oh, come, come, come! And he like turns, interrupts you, and just starts like waving you into the back. Well, I, please, I have one more request. Yes, yes. Tell me My, along the way. In case it's closer, uh, the other book would be you said weather patterns over the past sixteen uh, years. He stops, puts a hand up, a finger up. Um, says yes, weather patterns. Over there, and he points off to the left, uh, straight at the bookshelf right next to him. But you get the idea, the sense that he's kind of pointing a couple bookshelves over, not sure how far. Which row would the weather patterns book be in? Come, come, come with me. And he um... starts, keeps walking down the row, turns left. Um, as they're following along, uh, can I tell if this guy has any nobility in him? Um, like just based on how he's dressed, yeah, does he wear any signs of nobility? Make, make a perception check for me. He's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> the robes he is wearing are fairly simple, um, but well kept. Uh, you notice he has several very fine rings on his fingers and he's wearing some sort of necklace or um very fine gold chain necklace um other than that it's hard to tell if he's nobility or just wealthy um hard to tell i'll just grumble behind him and follow um he continues along um and then he stops turns left, walks, takes three steps forward, and then points to his right at the books along the shelf there. Uh, you look and you see these, you see 16 tomes. Um, pretty pretty shoddy. shoddy. Um, he pulls one out and he says, here is this year's. He hands it to you. Pulls out another, here is last year's. Oh, we're at pulls the it out, weather hands patterns? It to you. 
He says, here's two years ago, pulls it out, hands it I to I think you. I'll start with the this year, last year, Here's and years four ago. years ago. I think I can come back for the rest. Thank you. Here is five. And he looks over as he's trying to hand it to you, but you're clearly a, backed up a step or two. Oh, yes, yes. And he starts sliding it back in. And he says, if you'll give me four years ago. What's out his hand? Um, since I'm holding like five books in my hands, I just kind of it's on the top, I imagine, and I just it is like hold my hands out so you can grab the the one off Grabs the top. It and he says, and three years ago, and grabs it off the top, and two years ago, um, grabs it off the top. Okay, I'm gonna take years. I'm gonna take these two. Uh, uh, oh, yes. Uh, that will be four coppers. All right. Uh, can we do that near the front? Yes, leave them up on the counter. All right. And you also said weather influenced by the gods might be something I can uh, yes. read about here. Come with me, and he starts walking uh, towards that spiral staircase in the back. Um, <clears throat> as he starts, uh, as he steps up onto the first step, um, you watch his feet start to like float as he kind of glides up in a spiral up the stairs in front of you. Mm. I, mm. How do I? He kind of goes around he... the corner out of sight. Have you heard of a man named Gideon before? Yes, yes, of course, we've all heard of Gideon. He kind of shouts down. Uh, he doesn't shout it. It sounds like he's just speaking normally, but you can hear it as if he were right in front of you. What do you yes, know yes, of yes, Gideon? Mm. I would like to save that for another time. He leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Phrasing! <laughs> And uh, no, never mind. <laughs> Curiously, as this has all been happening, uh, both Zod and Amelia, um, you have heard his words as if he were right next to you throughout the in, in, throughout the encounter with him. Um, well, even though he hasn't been right in front of you. Well, Greystone and he goes walking off. It sounds like he's still talking right there. Yep. Uh, uh, Zod and Amelia, what are the Go ahead. I feel like I'm missing half the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been saying things, Zod? <laughs> no. Uh, ah, uh, yes, yes. Oh, so that's just your voice I've been hearing. Okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Don't but... believe anything Zod says. <laughs> You hear this, like, <laughs> echoing from a down past the bookshelves. <laughs> Was that you too, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Why are there so many voices in my head right now? All right. The wind speaks to me, the black speaks to me, my sword speaks to me. <laughs> so many voices. I'm dang, I did not have enough ale. So Zod, so Zod, he... Zod hears this from 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 Greystone, and and he turns, and and, and he, he breaks the fourth wall and turns to the and turns, to, well if there was an if there was an audience there and he's like, Greystone's just jealous because he can't live up to a great to a great, I don't know, so, is he a person like me? I don't know. Just hear me groan at it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to Greystone, currently at the base of this staircase. What would you like to do? Um, so, uh, Red Winter went out of sight, right? Up the staircase? He did, up the spiral staircase to the next I'm level. I'm going to start perusing through the book from uh, two years ago. Make an investigation check for me. Oh, I mean, one year ago, because it's this year and one year. I'm going to start looking for... Odd what are you looking weather. for? Odd weather occurrences. Like okay. when is it snowing? When is it uh when is it raining? Um yeah. and then 
checking date. So this is how I would do this. I would look for oddities and then look around them for uh, what's happened, like the day before the oddity, the day after the oddity. Um, I'm okay. rolling um, an investigation check. Investigation check, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, as you're kind of flipping through the, the weather patterns for the year, uh, you see it's definitely a temperate environment. Um, you see cold winters with occasional snows, maybe every two or three weeks. Uh, you see warm summers, not blistering hot, but very warm. Um, you know, maybe a couple days reach in what would the equivalent of the upper 90s, lower 100s. So, um, you see. Um... Uh, I, rainstorms I, in the afternoons during the summer, quite a few rainstorms in the spring. Uh, snows as early as October, but not not commonly. So as of um, last year, I'm seeing normal weather. Pretty normal weather. Um, you do see one that jumps out at you in May. There was a, a late snowstorm, um, but kind of leading up to that snowstorm, you see the weather did get colder for a few days first before it snowed. Um, and then it slowly transitioned back to heat. Nothing, nothing like you'd have experienced here a few times. All right, uh, but I can't find anything at the end, like from the beginning to the end of that year of record keeping. I don't find anything peculiar. Nothing. Besides that nothing one in May. Terribly unnatural. Just that one day in May. Uh, it doesn't. Yeah. Um. If I have time, I'd like to I just read through the book all in that time. How long do you think that you took? flipped you flipped through uh again, this is tendencies you're seeing. You didn't read the entire book. You're just kind okay. of browsing, flipping through. Uh I will skim over the other book, the this year's book. Okay, make another investigation check for me. Um. <clears throat> yeah. That's a seven and a two. All right, as you're flipping through that book, um, it's it looks like more of the same at first, and then you you hear a voice as right in front of you of uh, Willem Redwinter saying, "Here's the book you requested." As you look up from the book, he's not right in front of you. He's actually, uh, you look over and he's kind of currently gliding down the steps. Ah, I'll hold my hand out for it. Ah, well, holding the other is. two in my left arm. Um, shall we take care of these up at the desk? Of course. And he starts stepping that way towards, uh, towards the front. All right. Um, as the two of you meet back up with Amelia and Zod up there at the front, uh, Willem pulls out a piece of paper from behind the counter and starts writing down. Uh, he takes another look at the two or at the three books you're currently holding. Starts writing some more. Very um, good. If you'll sign right here and drop six coppers. Uh, here are six coppers. And uh. Do you mind if I just spend some time reading them here? But of course. All right. Uh, when do you want these back by? When do I incur late fees? Uh, it is expected that you return them by the end of the week. Seven right. days. All right. Thank you, sir. I am going to... Okay, out of character, I'm going to awkwardly walk over to the to the couch and try to sit down while in armor. It's weird. Okay, uh, you sit down. It's actually pretty comfortable. Uh, Amelia and Zod, what are the two of you doing? I will approach Redwinter and go. What other names do we know you by? <laughs> what other names do you know me by? And he sits there and he starts thinking for a moment. And then he looks up and he starts muttering something and making some gestures with his hands. Uh, Amelia, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, I'm good at this. 
<laughs> I'm so good. At it. Uh, just for a moment, it feels you get this very strange sensation, as if somebody is looking through the depths of your memory. Somebody else is prying in. It feels incredibly uncomfortable, uh, and there's, it's like somebody is just kind of wriggling some fingers through your brain. And then it suddenly stops. And he looks up and it says, it appears that you you know me by no other names. Hmm. Very well. Do you go by? I have known many a name uh, for which I have been referred. Some have called me Merlin. Some have called me that bastard. Some have called me Karakuar. Yes, not too many called me that. Uh, for good reason. How, 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 about, how, how about asshole? Has anybody called you that one? Mm. And you see him hold up his little finger. <laughs> yes, there was one who called me that, I believe. Yes. Then you and Roland share a name. <laughs> Not them. For a moment, uh, the 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 man looks a little bit confused, like he's trying to connect the dots, and then he, ah, oh, yes, yeah, and then he can, says, "Very good." Is there anything else you need of me? Kind of looking over at Greystone. I don't think so. I'm honestly not sure. I guess I'll uh, kind of walk over to Greystone and I will offer my assistance. Oh, hello, Amelia. Fish face Amelia. Uh, sorry. Um, hey, pretty boy. Need some help? Uh, well, I'm looking through, well, looking through these books. Uh, as of last year, the weather in this area has been well, some sometimes starting this year. Let me start over. Sometimes starting this year, the weather has been acting strangely. Snowing in the summer, snowing right after it's hot. Um, and according to these two books, uh, last year the weather was fine. And I'm looking for when it began in this book here, which is the weather records of this year. Um, if you want, you can look through this book, which is uh, about weather that is influenced by the gods, and see if you find anything that is similar to the strange weather we've been having here. You know, where it's hot, cold, hot, cold, wet, dry, all within a week. I don't remember doing any of that. You do know how to <laughs> read, drum. don't you? I just, you know what? I kind of hold up my uh, gauntlet, kind of spark shark, shocking grasp. Don't insult me. Not everybody knows how to read. As bad memories come flooding back to Greystone. All right, I take the book because I know where my source of power comes from, so. I guess I'll start looking at the uh, religious texts about storms. All right, make an investigation check for me. Uh, hey, yeah. yeah All I right, as you course. start flipping through this book, um, it seems very basic. Um, it's not necessarily about storms initially. It's about um, various instances of recorded history where the gods have affected the weather. Um, as you're kind of browsing through, not reading super intently, um, a couple things catch your eyes. Uh, there's also instances of individuals controlling weather. Um, <clears throat> various individuals that um, receive their power, either from the divine or the arcane means. Um, 
being able to kind of control various facets of the weather, whether that be lightning and thunder, storm clouds, uh, even bringing rain to far various farmers' fields. Um, most of these occurrences are from the, you recognize from the old world, um, but you imagine they would have uh, some grounds here as well. Um, and as you're kind of flipping through the uh, the pages of those able to influence weather, you find a, a slip of tattered paper um, kind of wedged inside between some of the pages on the book. Um, as you kind of pull this paper out, uh, you find... Handout. Handout. For everybody? No. Uh, just just Amelia has found this so far. Sorry. I, I that, gave it to everyone because I'm lazy. That is a penis. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this have such bad jokes? <laughs> <laughs> I see way too many bad jokes on this drawing. <laughs> You got a penis looking icon over there and a hole over there. Yeah, okay. Hey, don't forget who just found us. <laughs> it was the nudist. I mean, no. <laughs> not a nudist, just things keep happening to her clothes. <laughs> Some of it is self induced. <laughs> Some of it is oh, side effects. <laughs> no, they're both side effects. Just how much is it self induced? Anyway, so you, you find this old, tattered bit of paper here. Um, it's actually not as old as the pages within the books, but it seems like it's seen much more use, whether pieces of it are ripped off and missing. Um, and while you're looking at it, you see uh, some words on the back of it. Um, right. There's not a lot written on the back. It says, it seems to be affected by the weather, or maybe it's actually affecting the weather. I need to experiment to draw out its full power. And just in case my experience go awry, I shall. And that's kind of the where the page rips off. Huh. Hmm. Do I notice this uh, call out? Is it really actually, easy to notice, or? Oh, you're showing it to me. Okay. After you know looking at it, you go. <clears throat> well, someone Seems believes be something might be affecting by the weather. weather. And maybe it is actually affecting the weather. What the? Um, and it's handwriting. Do you think handwritten. we could figure out who wrote this? Red Winter! Mm, yes? Do you recognize I... this handwriting? What handwriting would that be? Uh, this piece of paper fell out of the book. You look up, Red Winter is not currently in front of you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you do see him starting to walk down uh, between some of the bookshelves towards you guys. Um, as he approaches, I'll check something real quick. I lean over to uh, Amelia. Do you think this guy ever is not calm? Yeah. Yeah. What he's like yeah, I wasn't talking to you, Roland. Yeah. I mean, Zod. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> uh, how dare you insult me with that name? <laughs> um, as he comes over and says, Well, what I'm have sorry, you got there? Robert. Yeah. Apologize to Zod. Uh, uh, I, ha I ignore Zod and. <laughs> And over the uh, the treasure map. As uh, um, as Red Winter grabs the map, you see him make some motions and start muttering some stuff, and he, then he taps the map. He says, "Well, whoever had whoever created this is long dead, so I do not currently have the magic means to figure out who it was." And he hands it back to you. Huh. What did you do? Oh, just a bit of scrying. S scrying? <laughs> How does one scry? Ah, I could perhaps... Are you one of the arcane study? 
I've recently been entered into training as a paladin. And I believe I could teach you. Uh, tell me, what is the current extent of your abilities? I can touch people and make them feel better. Hmm. Well, yes. so can I. That's not the hardest trick to do. Different kind of touching. Different kind of touching. And my face flushes. <laughs> I, I, I just turn the gray tone and I go, ah, sure. Not with a face like that. <laughs> That's not what you said. That's not what you said earlier. What? What? <laughs> ignoring. <laughs> ignoring. Well, if that is currently the extent of your abilities, mm. I would recommend coming back when you are a bit more versed in your <laughs> in the arcane ways. I see. And perhaps I can teach it to you. I see. If you are interested, we are selling some very scrolls. Uh, of some I've seen the prices of, of those basically. scrolls. I don't think I can afford those just yet. Very well. But thank you. I don't yeah, need to be rude. Thing to it's just, do. It seems whenever I'm around Zod, I get a bit irritable. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I am going. Um, thank you. I will bring these back in less than a week, and um, of course. come on, you two. We're going to go see Lady Brisneth, my teacher, my researcher. Not my teacher, right? She doesn't teach me paladin stuff, does she? Um, she, she, is she does a not cleric? specifically teach you? Because she can uh, teach she, me if she's a cleric. She's a cleric. She hasn't been teaching you how to do stuff, but you've been very carefully watching her as she, um, has been healing wounds and, uh, okay. treating various sicknesses and stuff. She's, so, you're I'm starting a self proclaimed to catch paladin. On. Oh, that's disturbing. Uh, you haven't taken your oath yet, so you're currently in training. I would like to have the map and try to start studying it. Okay. All right, I'll hand it back to you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sure you would like to study it. <laughs> Zod, kind of make so yourself like... useful and look through this book. And I hand him the one that I've looked through already, the the last year's book. I, 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 I take it from him, I'm like, you can't fool me. On second thought, I'd like to have that back. You'll probably ruin it. <laughs> With this guy. It's like I have my own arch nemesis <laughs> following me around. Fanboy! I mean... <laughs> okay. Um, as you head over towards the Five Point Temple... Um, you, you walk in, and Lady Brisneth is currently um, over there teaching a very bored human <laughs> about um, specifically going over through the various gods, Otis and uh, the moon weaver and talking about Nymera and Terra and, and just going through all of them. And this guy looks bored out of his mind. Like he's looking for any excuse to get away. <laughs> without you there food. leave <laughs> now. Uh, uh, mm, yes. And he kind of like tips his, Tips his hat to you and walks out of me. I have very, my apologies, lady business. It appears uh, you have another appointment. And he walks out. And uh, <laughs> as he's walking by, he tips uh, a gold coin to you, Greystone. A gold kinda, coin? Wow, okay. He tries to subtly just pass it off to you. He, he's in pretty fine clothes, actually. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. It, it, it's not in business to try and trip this guy on, on his way out. Uh, you can attempt to, yeah. I can I notice this? Can I try and stop it? <laughs> uh, I'd say Grayson, because you're more focused currently on. Okay. Hey, you just got a coin unexpectedly. You don't see it. Zod, go ahead and make. Uh, if you're going to try to trip him on the way out, make a. Are you trying to do it sneakily or just? Yeah, I'm trying to make it look like an accident. Okay, make a slide of hand check on this one. Burp, burp. Uh, easy enough as uh, you kind of time it so you're coming in as he's 
skittering away and he just trips over you pop your leg out last second he kind of oh, oh, phew, and he falls to the ground he says oh, i'm sorry i'm uh very sorry and he starts standing up and moving out uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, that, that was so that, that was so beautifully evil I don't. Okay. I don't know if the man, uh, Lady Brisnes. I don't know if the man you were teaching was fully aware of his surroundings. He seems to. Uh, yes, it appears we are all feet. in need of. We are all in need of guidance from the gods. Come, child. What can I do for you today? Um, I know you've seen me around here a few times. Um, I'd like to formally introduce myself. I am Greystone. Um, oh yes. This is uh, Amelia, uh, and uh, this is uh, an asshole that you don't need to know the name of. And as I point to Zod, she kind of like furrows her brow and says, "What have you done to my sweet child, little one?" Uh, to Zod, she kind of looks over at Amelia and says, "Yes, yes, I don't know." And she's like looking very intently at Zod. Well, I'm looking at the paper, so. <laughs> Zod's just going to turn and wave. Mm, well, if you're not going to cause any trouble, I suppose you're welcome in here. Like I said, asshole. As I hold a hand up and try to whisper that to her. Uh, anyway. Still- Anyways. What was that, um, Zod? Are, are we still in the library? No, no you're currently at the, the Five Point Temple. Um, okay. It's this, uh, yeah, it's, it's the... almost like a star shaped building um, with a, a steeple at the top of the middle with a star at the top um, encased within a circle. Uh, the interior of this building, um, you're, you're in like a pentagon shaped room at the very center with this uh, small, but um, a small, but still. A uh, very nice dome uh, at the top of it. Uh, the room itself is maybe 40 feet across, uh, and you see five different rooms kind of uh, sprawled out on the uh, exterior with different doors to each of them. For some reason, in my head, I thought it was kind of like a Greek temple on the inside. <laughs> it's It's got, like, similar decor. You know, it's kind of got these stone and marble floors and walls. Um, but it's definitely on a smaller scale, and it's um, definitely very gun-shaped room you're currently in. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and uh, she says, so what can I do for you, young Greystone? Um, <laughs> Lady Brisness, um, yes. you've, have you noticed the strange weather in the past uh, several months? My, I've never seen such strange weather my whole life. Seems the gods are up to something. Do you think it's up, it is the gods, or do you think it might be some other source? Well, uh, I suppose it could be either. Um, if it is the gods, then surely they have a plan. If it is not the gods, then, well, which plan? Right. And she looks over at Emil and says, Yes, quite a quite an insight you've had there, Amelia Amelia, was it? Mm, Amelia Striker Tide. Amelia Striker Tide. Um which gods would influence the weather so I would almost dare to say recklessly, because it could, it gets close to endangering lives sometimes. Hmm. Well, if it is the gods, perhaps they are at war with some. Um, you are correct that uh, it does endanger their lives, but the gods do as they please, and uh, it seems for the moment they are pleasing by uh, allowing the weather to fluctuate so wildly. The various storms of El Sifa reign powerful, um, but he is kept in check by Tareth, who um, requires those storms for his war. On the flip side, uh, there is Otis, the god of light and fire and heat, 
and warmth. Um, perhaps he is increasing the heat waves on days such as today um, for whatever purposes he has. Um, there is also the moon weaver. I do not think that uh, the oracle god would uh, perhaps try to cause such imbalances, so it is likely not his doing. Um, or Sewell the mother, she uh, cares about life and family. She would definitely not want to create such instability in the world. Do these gods ever manifest themselves? Oh, and you look as on this uh, silver dragonborn mouth, dra dragonborn mouth curls into this very comforted grin, and she says, oh yes, from time to time, they will make acquaintance with their most devote followers. <laughs> and you watch as the grin slowly fades off her mouth, and she says, and also will make acquaintance to their most dire enemies. Hmm. So they do manifest themselves. Yes. Is it rare, or is it actually common? Well, um, that's a matter of... I haven't met a god as of yet. But oh, I feel yeah, like I've been... right here! <laughs> Ignoring that. Um, Lady Brisneth kind of gives a little bit of a glare and then turns back to Greystone. They choose to reveal themselves to whomever they please, as they please. I myself have seen both the mother and the father. A rare treat for an acolyte of health. And they have both blessed me with the ability to help others and further their church. That... Sounds awesome. She has for lack of, be of again. better words, that She's, sounds yes. awesome. Awesome, indeed. How... And you, child, have the gods revealed themselves to you? To me? Yes. I have not seen a god in person. I do feel their... At least I feel like I've heard their presence before there was an island that i was at with this uh with a, an, another group from the kobolds keg from the adventurers guild and the uh there was a moment where i thought i would die and i prayed to the gods and i felt something it is no coincidence they have plans for you yet And, well, that's why I'm trying to become a paladin, actually. Ah, you seek the path of the protector, or perhaps the avenger, or something else? I, f I was motivated by the storm that was caused, so I f seek the path. I, I am on the path of the the storm god. Interesting. As you say this, you watch as the smile just immediately wipes from her face and says, Be careful, child. Such gods are prone to treachery. Be careful yeah. that you do not follow the gods, Elsifa's path too closely. That's what I think I remember. I could have completely remembered incorrectly. I did not write any of this down. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where is it is. Is there now. anything else I can do for you? Um so the group and I, um, Amelia and Asshole here, um, we're actually investigating the weather and we're hoping to return it back to what it was a year ago, two years ago. 
Ah, it seems that you seek the path of the Moonweaver to um, restore the balance to the I, world. What do you mean? Well, the Moonweaver is about fate and destiny. By keeping the cosmos in line, and when things are out of line, he seeks to restore it. Yeah, kind of like Greystone here in his unibrow. What? Uh, <laughs> living up to your name, asshole! As you say this, uh, you see in the silver dragonborn's cheeks get just a hint of pink, as she also has a bit of a unibrow. <laughs> oh, <folks>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, um, Amelia, it might be a good idea if you take Zod outside. Does he need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> he might get hit hard enough that he will end up soiling himself. I will look up and go, I love to see that. Oh. Then you're not going to help me, are you? Okay. Um, how do I? Anyways, back on topic. The Moonweaver. How? How would I communicate with the Moonweaver? Well, um, uh... and seek the Moonweaver's guidance. Pray to the Moonweaver. He appears at night with the crescent moon. And when's the next crescent moon? Uh, she, the look on her face kind of like, uh, 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 what was the moon like last night? I don't quite remember. I'm pretty sure I was drunk if I'm helping you guys out, so I wouldn't know. I, 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 I turned I, I turn to her, draw, 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 like, draw one of my switch blades, like, you, I'm like you will tell us what the weather what the weather was like. I am going to take that blade and disarm him immediately. Uh, all right, um, Zod, are you letting him? No. All right, Greystone, make an athletics check. Uh, Zod, make either acrobatics or athletics. Me. Uh huh. All right. Uh, Zod, you're caught off a little bit off guard as Grace and Amelia just reaches out and wrenches the blade out of your hands. Do not do that again. I, I, I will do what I want. Thank you. I'm going to pocket your blade. This is mine now. You see this? This is mine. I'm going to put it in my pack. Sorry, Lady Brisneth. Uh, like I said, an asshole. And I just hold my palm out like, ta-da. Well, let me uh, know if there's anything I can do to help you. Um, we might be back. Uh, we're, we'll try a few things. Uh, right. one... Do you know of anyone in New Brafka, the new city that is being built who would know a lot about the current weather patterns we're seeing. Mm, I can't say that I do. Um, I mean, there's perhaps some wizard snow. Um, perhaps the, uh, well, the grand... Uh, one second, I'm going to look up a title. <laughs> Grand Inquisitor. Perhaps, perhaps the High Dragon will know, um, but he's quite busy. I don't know if he would see you. The High is he an actual dragon? No, no, he's a dragonborn, much like myself. A bit pompous, if you ask me. <laughs> Abasil Emiro. What and kind of dragonborn is he? The worst kind. He's a red dragonborn and fancies himself the messenger of God. Ooh. And where and where can we find this so 
called Dragonborn. You can find him in Nebraska. Um, there's a, a temple up there, the Temple of the Penta, Pentagods. Well, I, I, I say we head to New Nebraska. Um, I would actually like to try something before. Well, actually, we can head to Nebraska, and I can do that on the way. Yes. That's, That's a good idea. Let's do that. I want to go one. back to the Cobalt's Cave before we do. Oh, all right. Sure enough. I'm on my way back. No. All right, you guys. <laughs> it, wait. Uh, as we get outside, Zod, you really want this blade back? Yeah. Kinda. In my presence, you do not threaten anyone of independence ever again. Okay. Promise? I hold the blade out, hilt. Towards I'm, him. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take it, I'm like, I can't, can't make any promises, but I'll try to keep my temper. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep you uh, in check. You go to the bathroom still. Now that we're outside. <laughs> <laughs> that was a f way of me trying to politely say he would shit himself with how hard I would punch him and if he I kept being an asshole. Of course you would. <laughs> and I'm going to now start oh, walking no. towards Cobalt Keg. Do you guys remember yes. what temple it was? Temple of the what? Pentagods. Pentagods, Pentagods. Yeah. thank you. Okay. Uh, the Cobalt's Keg, Amelia? I want to go to the map. The big map. Go ahead. Yeah. Because this, this says freckled trees. We've heard rumors of said freckled trees down to the, I guess, kind of our south at this point. Freckled? What freckled trees? On the map. Where? Trees way Can down you... here. Oh, as you pointed out. Uh, I have not heard of these freckled trees yet. Well, I think Gil and Dracor would have spread it around. Would... And it does have freckled or spotted trees, so... Would Gil and Dracor be able to help us today? Hmm. Where They're are they? They're both usually probably at the bar, so... As you guys look around, you drunk. look over, and in the corner you see Dracor currently passed out. Uh, you see Gil sipping a beer over at the bar. Um, do you think that would help us with figuring out the weather? Because I would really prefer to have a nice ride without having to worry about snow. Mm, I was just saying, I'm referring to the map we found that starts off with freckled trees, plains, owl forests. And according to the map, kind of pointing to it, there's spotted trees uh, in this area. You mean the map from the book? Yes. I'll kind of put the the map down, kind of next to the, the spotted forest, or the spotted trees, or whatever it says up there. Freckled trees, freckled trees. So if we want to investigate this further, or if it has a connection, just saying that I think Gil and Dracor were the ones who went and found that for us. So you go, if I'm following your map right, you go to the freckled trees, the plains, and the owl forest. Then you go what? north to the penis, and then you go west to some trees, west to some more trees, Twisted trees, and south to a crater, and west to a cave. Something to that effect. And the map says, "Don't forget to pay." Yeah, it looks like there's Cadeth a name. Cadethless. Can I make out that word, Joel? Um, as best as you can read it, it says Cadethus or Cadethus, something like that. You're not sure how it's pronounced. Yeah, there's also a warning about vomiting per day, so. But yeah, we can go to Nebraska and see if anyone can help us with this, but. Okay. 
Uh, good so, idea, actually. But I do remember reading something about spotted trees, so I wanted to make sure I knew uh, where we'd need to go if we needed to head out. Hmm. Shoot, where'd that handout go? I lost it! There it is. Alright, um, anything else you want to do? Zod? Good, let's go! I'm going to start heading out towards New Brafka. All right, so at this point, it's probably late morning, approaching noon or so. It is, it will probably make it by evening. Point, Zod, Zod turns to the crowd, and after Greystone says this, I'm like, now, who, now who's being the asshole? Now, exactly <laughs> where are you facing? <laughs> like, in, uh, in the reality, to our what perspective. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I I just I just know he's he, he's he's breaking the fourth wall. I know. I I understand as a player. Where does he like, think the fourth what wall? What way would you be facing to try to be doing this? Um, like, are you facing a wall? <laughs> no, I, I would say I'm whatever. I'm facing away from. Just facing away from from the from the two from the two other players doesn't matter what direction. I would like to perceive if I would have caught up or like overheard this or something. <laughs> um, no, it's to the fourth wall. You didn't see it or hear it <laughs> or hear it. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm, to the fourth I'm wall. I'm personally yeah. only the audience sees it. Okay, uh, so moving on, <laughs> uh, as you guys head out um, along the road from Independence East to New Brafka, uh, who's leading the way? Is anybody? I am watching? leading the way. You want to lead the way? No, I'm leading the way. <laughs> All right. So Grace no. and Zod are both trying to lead the way. I'm leading the way. No, I'm leading the way. I broke the dam. And Amelia has entertainment for the road. Okay. Uh, doing anything while traveling? Or nah? Nah. Um, okay. I'm going to look out for food. Oh, wait. I'm leading the uh, way. <laughs> well, are you leading the way or are you scavenging? I'm leading the way. Slash forging. Okay. Uh, Greystone and Zod, each I'm going to roll a survival check for me, please. Survival check. Let's see. Yeah. Aha! For the best! <clears throat> And Zod? What? Survival, Survival check, check, please. Oh. 1d20 plus your intelligence modifier? No, it's there. Wisdom. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys are kind of fighting over who's leading the way, both of you are managing to keep on the path here with Amelia watching behind. Um, you guys left Independence just before noon or so. Um, and after about uh, six or seven hours of travel, um, excuse me, not six or seven, do, 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 after, give me one sec, do some math, after about four hours of travel, three to four hours of travel, um, you come across the uh, wall that is currently under construction. It looks like this portion of the wall is finally finished uh, of New Brafka. The wall rises maybe 50 to 70 feet high in places um, with this no great shit. gate. It's a, it's a pretty bit dang big wall at this point. Um, um, can I talk to one of the guards? Wait, keep describing. Go ahead. Yeah. So you look at this stone wall that kind of stacks up uh, very high. The stone gate itself has this large archway, maybe 30 feet tall, um, with these iron bars that are currently open. Um, and uh, you, you see uh, four guards currently, two on each side, as well as uh, another pair of guards off uh, by the shore of the Miserly River at a makeshift dock. Um, you watch as the uh, the wall only extends out to the river, but it looks like they've got plans to make more additions over there. All right, okay. you'd like to come up to the guards. Uh, you see the guards these four humans uh each of them wearing uh some gold cloaks with some silvery armor um what time of day is it 
Currently, it is about late afternoon or so. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hey, um, how can I do? What can I do for you? I just I have only seen this wall once before, and it was smaller and still under construction. It is yeah, the builders really have been busy, huh? Tall. Why? Yeah. Uh, security. Uh, From where? Were you around during? Uh, were you around during the wars? Uh, back in the old world. Was I around in the, in the wars? Um, you would re You weren't specifically involved in them. Um, but there were. Uh, you know of the Sybil War, S I B Y L. Um, yes. in which. Here, I'll spell that out. But you know of this civil war um, back in the <laughs> old world, which was this uh, very intense engagement between two countries in which there were a number of sieges and war machines and various um, – this, this sudden influx of technology and magic uh, built in kind of this arms race between the two countries that eventually went hot. Uh, you know that the – Frisian Empire uh, claims that it won the war. Um, really, it kind of turned into a stalemate um, where neither side could gain any ground because of defensive fortifications um, hmm. that were made. Kind of sounds like uh, like the Crusades, the like the Third Crusade. It's similar, yeah. Oh, Very yeah. similar. So, I would have um, you know heard that, uh, of this, but I didn't partake in it. You did not partake in it, um, but your your house was um, involved in helping fund the war efforts. Okay. Um, and the only reason you know all this is because of your nobility. So, um, Amelia yeah, and Zod, so the two of you heard of it. Amelia, you weren't around for it. Uh, Zod, you actually make a history check for me. Cool. As in, based on my location, or based on I wasn't in existence yet? Uh, you oh. were in existence. You just weren't anywhere Ooh. nearby. Zod. First natural Impressive. twenty. All right. <laughs> Give me a sec to see what yeah. extra stuff you get. Uh, so Zod, you know that the war was between uh, Greystone. You know this as well. It was between the Frisian Empire and the Kingdom of Wachenheim. Uh, Zod, you, um were actually trained to be an assassin during the war, not by either the Frisian Empire or the Kingdom of Wachenheim, but by the Juvian Empire. Um, the you. Juvian Empire was kind of a third entity that you were being trained as an assassin for. Um, but uh, the war kind of fizzled out right as you kind of uh, got to the end of your training. Uh, and so you were kind of shipped to the New World. Well, that, that's a little un that's unlucky. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I'm familiar with the Civil War. Um, so you need these tall walls for siege? It's to, uh, to defend against just siege? in case, as far as I know, yeah. They'll defend against siege, you know, once we get some more soldiers out here to defend the walls, uh, we should probably be able to withstand just about anything, you know? Well, I, I understand trying to build for certain scenarios, but those walls from the Civil War were built because of those scenarios, because of the war. Well, Are you yes, expecting and... a war? Uh, you know, I'm not expecting a war. Who would we go to war against out here? It's not like there's any other armies running around. I know. That's that's my point. I was. It was a facetious question. Yeah, preaching to the choir, my friend. Uh, I think it's a misuse of um money, but you know it keeps people in business, and money's all coming from the crown, anyways. So, I mean, it could, it's not like we're losing anything. They could increase your wages with, instead of building seventy See, foot. They could now chop you're five feet off my language. the top of this and increase your wages. I fully agree. You look like a person of certain privileges. Perhaps you can, you know, maybe. Spread that in the ears of those powers that make those decisions. Whoever the fuck that is. If I find <laughs> out who's decided 70 feet instead of 65, I'll see what I can do. Much appreciated, my friend. 
maybe we could get you and your friends some your compatriots some extra coin may we come through of course yes that's all all right thank you sir have a good day and as you pass through the gate, uh, you can see the city has started expanding in the distance. Um, it's still a couple miles from the wall, but um, the city is definitely growing still. Joel? Yes. The wall, it, it goes to the river, and that's about it? It goes to the river. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of scaffolding there and stuff. Like, looks like they're preparing to expand you... across the river, oh, potentially. Okay. I was going to say, Matt... Thinking what I'm thinking, structural weakness. <laughs> uh, yeah. I see a way to get around the wall, personally. So, no. Rivers are actually. This is a big river, isn't it? It is. And it goes um, up down to here, the ocean as well. close to the end, it's probably about at this point about three hundred to four hundred feet across wow. in places. Out of character, uh, rivers are actually really good um, barriers in in wartime um mm -hmm. the wall would be good for against siege equipment but the river it's good for stopping armies you can tell when an army is yep. trying to get across the river yeah unless there's fog an army, but i have the ability to breathe and swim in water so but you're not an army <laughs> i already said that but i'm just saying that for my personal for my personal information i wanted to know more about the river and how the wall is affecting it. Okay. Are, are, are there any dangerous? Are there any dangerous creatures in, in, in this, these waters, like crocodiles or, or something like that? Are you something asking the guards this, or yes? Yeah. Guards. Uh, as you ask the guards this, they say, "Well, not from like I can tell. I mean, you get out into the King Darwin Sound, you might find some dangerous creatures. But as far as I can tell, these rivers are pretty peaceful. Nope. And again, I've only been out here a little while." I'm just seeing if there was something else that was maybe stopping them from crossing the river. Mm, time, money, who knows? Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Uh, as you guys continue onwards into the town, uh, the evening is approaching. Uh, the sun is starting to go down. Um, where are you guys headed? What are you looking for? Shit. I need to find a guard to get directions from. Because uh, we're looking for the high dragon. Uh, as we're gonna... you... Wait, it took a whole day. It did not even take more than a day to get there. That's neat. Um, yeah, also, I, I want to keep an eye out for an inn. Okay. Uh, as you're headed into town, um, it's easy enough to find some guards. The kind of motion that the temple is up on top of uh, the Capitol Hill. Um, and as you're kind of headed your way up towards the hills, uh, you see a number of inns along the way. You looking for a particular type of inn or anything? Or, um, well, I'm not looking for one where Mud likes to sleep, but <laughs> it, okay, you can, yeah, you can find a it. pretty decent inn. Um, I'm not looking for... for the 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 Sheraton Hotel either. Okay. I'll go. Question: Is there like a really tall building or something that I could cl climb up to get a better view of, of, of the surrounding area? Uh, yeah, you can actually. Oh, go ahead and you change. The uh, game. Zod, make an athletics check for you, okay. or for me. It's already starting to climb. Uh, oh. you said athletics. Yep. Ah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Okay, um, you're able to climb a building without too much trouble, and from the top of it, make a perception check now. That's more like it. Okay, um, looking around throughout the town, you see a bunch of people busy, bustling streets. Um, it's lots of people, uh, you can tell, are coming back from wherever they worked to wherever they live. Um, there's... Uh, you know, over at the port, you see a lot of uh, people unloading ships with today's catch or various various supplies, assumably coming from the old world. Ooh, like, like the catch of the day. Like, are are they? Is it like just supplies, or is it like is it like food or fish or something? Uh, it's it's a mixture of things. Uh, the fishing boats obviously unloading their various fish. Um, some supply boats kind of 
bringing in boxes, hard to tell what's inside them. Um, various stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so you guys are able to find a hotel for the night. Um, Sorry, Jordan Jim. And, okay, uh, the, the hotel will cost you six silver pieces for the night, um, plus an additional two coppers per beer that you drink. Not so I'll let you do your tonight. own map on the math on that. What's that? I'm not drinking tonight. Okay. For any meals that you eat, it'll be a four coppers. Four, four coppers. I will eat. I don't have to okay. spend a ration. Sure. Um, anything else you guys are doing tonight? Um math. Does or... my room have a window? Uh you can request a room with a window, yes. Does it face east or west? Uh, the window on this room uh, that's available actually faces to the south, um, kind of towards the hill, Capitol Hill. Before above. I go to bed, I'd like to just hang out outside and keep my eye out on the sky. I am looking to see what kind of moon is coming out tonight. Sure enough, uh, you could actually see it as the sun has gone down. Uh, there's currently a crescent moon. Sweet. Okay. Um <laughs> I'm eventually going to pray tonight, but if anybody else wants to do anything, I can wait. Um, I already told you what I'm doing. I'm drinking. Is there is there a room in in this hotel on a high floor that I can just kind of keep watch on, like the rest of the town and everything? Uh, yeah, you could. Well, to keep watch on the entire town, do that from the rooftop, um, which you can get access to. Um, but, yeah. I, I, I will make my way to the rooftop if that's okay. okay. So from the top of this three-story building, uh, you get a view of some stuff. Again, it's you can't see everything from here, but you can see quite a bit as you guys are kind of up on the mid-level of the city. Um, Greystone, uh, you see this crescent moon as the sun is setting. Um, that is, The moon is currently slightly towards the east, but pretty high up. I'll uh, start making a prayer to the, the crescent moon. Uh, towards yeah, towards the crescent moon, and I'll say, uh, "Oh, oh, moon weaver, I seek your knowledge. Uh, even though I may not be a patron of uh, of you, I seek your guidance and knowledge with the and the stability you bring to the land." I, that's the best Make a religion check that. for me. <laughs> I'm so bad at believing in faith and things. Uh... <laughs> you just had to <laughs> You get no answer. I tried. Oh well. Do, um, do, 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 do I witness this? No. No, you don't. I make sure you uh, don't. Make a perception <laughs> check for me. Grace and make a stealth check for me. <laughs> 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 Grayson, you found a pretty dark, secluded corner to do this in. Sad you did not notice it. Okay. <laughs> Grayson took off his armor. That's why you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops. Oh well. <laughs> Next time. Um. Okay. So um... the night passes as each of you eventually retire to your rooms. Um. The maybe. morning. Maybe. <laughs> Doing anything else? Other than drinking? Uh, how many? I... How many are you? Uh, Amelia, how many are you drinking? I was thinking like five. Okay. You know, nice and drunk. Make a Constitution saving throw for me. Bitch, if you can't have ten, you're not a true. I don't know. The idea is to get drunk. So. <laughs> Easy enough. Um, you're holding your liquor pretty well. Not quite drunk. A bit tipsy. Um. Yeah. I'm only after two five. beers in, and I feel after ready. five. Not drunk, <laughs> tipsy. You know how to hold your liquor. Um, mm. Zod and Grayson, are the two of you drinking a bunch or not? No, I'm not drinking at all tonight. Okay. Well, okay. um, Greystone's not drinking at all tonight. I've been drinking, but. <laughs> sure. Well, I I, I was I was gonna have have one drink and then and 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 have, and have something to eat with it. Easy enough. That'll run you what? Eight co uh, six coppers. Yeah. 
All right. Um, anything else you guys are doing tonight? Uh, I'd like to make one more prayer right before I go to bed. Um, okay. just to, I, I don't have anything too specific to say, but it's to the, uh, the, I think the God of Storms, Sif, I believe. El Sifa. El Sifa. Is that one word or is that Spanish or? It's one word. Uh, El Sifa. El Sifa. El Sifa. I would pronounce that El Sifa. Me, personally. Not Greystone. Greystone would pronounce it properly mm. because he's a proper right. man. Um, and the prayer you're making? Uh, he's just uh, praying for Elsifa's protection and guidance um, to create storms when needed and for okay. clarity when when also needed. Yeah, make another religion check for me. It's more like he's praying it as he's like getting ready for bed, but uh, sure. Religion. Okay. Again, you don't hear any, you don't hear or sense anything in return, but you made your prayer, um, clutching the the symbol of the storm cloud with the lightning bolt. Elsifa is a theme feminine god, right? Uh, from what you've learned, he's actually a male god. Male um, god. Who was previously a primordial who became a god. Um, oh. Fell in love with Nymira, the sister. Masculine god. I gotta change the way I'm praying to him. Might think I'm being too bitchy. <laughs> I need to be strong like a man. Anyways. Okay. All right. You guys sleep. Uh, you wake up in the morning um, to the busy hustling and bustling of the streets below. My character is a dark elf. Correct. Yeah, that means you uh, have disadvantage on ability checks in the sun. Um, ability, or was it just perception? Okay. I thought it was just perception. Uh, attacks. Attacks and, and attacks. Any, any... Semi-sensitivity. Disadvantage on perception checks, rely on sight, uh, on attack rolls, um, when you or what you're trying to perceive are, or hit are in direct sunlight. So just oh, attack rolls and perception checks. So, so okay. So like, like a shadowy area, like the, uh, the kind of a shadow, the, the disadvantage to not take take effect. Correct. So in, you're great in shadows. You're bad in direct sunlight. You're okay. Amazing like shadows. Mick is um, not a like glass some... cannon. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm that. going to eat some breakfast. Good idea. Breakfast yep. sounds great. That'll run you three coppers. Four coppers. Sorry. Four coppers for breakfast. Yeah, breakfast is cheap. Oh, four coppers. Breakfast is no longer cheap. So much that's like 33% more. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Um, is there um, anything you want to do, Amelia? And asshole? Zod? I'll, I'll be a little bit nice today. I've had some sleep. <laughs> uh, just trying to learn more about this map. Okay, well then, if you guys don't mind, I would like to try and find, see if we can get a meeting with the High Dragon. Uh, La Lady uh, Brisneth seems to think he might be, you know, a bit pompous, so he might not have time for us. But let's, if you don't mind, I'm going to go see if I can find him. All right. As you guys uh, head out of the inn and up the hills, um, up the hill, rather, to uh, towards the the capital hill, sorry, um, towards the temple of the Pentagods, uh, you manage to work your way through the streets of people hustling and bustling about. Um, occasionally, you see a, a squad of soldiers 
marching by. Um, and you eventually uh, make your way up to the Capitol Hill. On top of this hill, you see this uh, very nice domed building, uh, pretty large, two story, pretty large. Uh, you see um, this behind some iron gates, you see this what appears to be a very large mansion um, that has two different towers, uh, one that uh, moves up probably five or six stories and another one that goes up eight or nine stories. Uh, you see this uh, other building with these, that is actually just a tower, uh, maybe a hundred feet wide, uh, just towering up, maybe probably 12, 13, 14 stories, hard to tell. Um, another building up here at the Capitol is, um, appears much like a stately building. Uh, you know, it looks kind of like the US Congress building almost, you know, it's got these columns up front and it's got this marble white walls everywhere. Uh, and then you also see um, another building. Uh, it looks like a like a ancient Catholic cathedral, um, not super ornate. It's not Notre Dame or anything, but it's um, of the similar design as the uh, Five Point Temple in Independence, but on a larger scale. Um, just kind of this pentagon-shaped building, and you see uh, that are these five statues um, above the archway going in. Um, these five statues. Uh, the one in the center is of this very strong masculine uh, god holding um, what appears to be a son. The statue just to his right um, is of this very motherly figure um, uh, grasping this tree sapling in her hand. Um, off to the right of that one, you see uh, this tall, taller figure standing in robes. Um, with crescent moons all up and down its uh, up and down the robes. Um, off to the the other side of it, you see uh, the uh, this figure of a warrior grasping these two crossed swords. And next to that one, you see um, this figure of this uh, appears much almost like a almost like a fae type creature. Um, very elvish features and this long flowing hair. Um, with his hands outstretched. Um, yeah. Um, you, so you see these five statues kind of above the archway um, heading into this temple. Miss Ty. As I walk in, I, I look at okay. the, the Elvis. I look at the Elvis statue and I'm like, ah, quite a master. I, I was going to lean over and talk to Amelia and like as I'm talking, it sounds like you just walked in. <laughs> I guess we should follow him. I lean over and kind of whisper talk, whisper yell. I guess we should follow. <laughs> All right, as you guys head in, um, you see it opens up into a, a another pentagon-shaped chamber. Uh, this one probably about eighty feet across. Um, you see a number of clerics currently sitting at uh, tables with some chairs off to the right. There's more empty tables off to the left. Um, again, there's these five doors, one on each uh, wall of this pentagon. You guys came in at like one of the points, one of the apexes. Um, these five doors that branch out into presumably five different rooms. Um, you see some clerics discussing things. Uh, you see um, a couple individuals walking across and opening a door up uh, kind of farther away, but on the left into one of the rooms. What would you I like to do? I imagine this is the Temple of the Pentagon. But it would be safe to ask. Amelia, you want to go ask someone? I'll go ask. <laughs> uh, looking around, you guys see this uh, desk um, with a countertop off to your left. Um, and behind it, you see one of the clerics in, uh, uh, you see this uh, middle-aged woman with some curly red hair uh, wearing these white robes. And she says, uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, 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 yes, we're looking for the Temple of the Pentagon. Well, you found it. Place? What can we do for you? Greystone? Oh, I thought you walked off. I did not. To go well. ask. I wasn't following they're, you. They're, they're just off to your left, maybe 15, 20 feet or so. Okay. I didn't, I didn't walk off. I, I was walking with you guys. but, but Okay, but I'll, I'll walk up there. and uh, I'll go, uh, So this is the Temple of the Pentagon. So um, we are hoping to 
speak to the high dragon. Mm, you'd like to speak to high? Do you have an appointment made? No. Um, we would like to either see when the soonest appointment would be, or if maybe. Mm. Yes, when would be the soonest appointment? She uh, flips open a book, starts flipping. Her... <laughs> this looks like uh, nearest appointment is in approximately 64 days. Oh. Does that work for you? No. Yeah. Well, no. We we're hoping a little sooner. Yes, well, everyone's hoping a little sooner. That's why we have a list. Would really no no doubt. Would fifty gold be a good way to get bumped up as, that list? As you say that, her brow first and says, "Are you suggesting paying for an early appointment?" Yes. Yeah. You yeah. don't do that here. Get out of this temple <laughs> right this moment! And she like points to the door. They don't. They... Okay, fine. Fuck okay, it. I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> and uh, you, her shouting that kind of caused a little um, bit of a stir as you watch as a lot of the eyes in the room are currently on you guys as you step out. I'm trying to wrap my head around this guy who has 65 days worth of appointments and then won't take money to try and get a sooner appointment. I, I I think there are lies being told here. Uh, I'm unfortunately going to have to agree. There's something fishy about that. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 me, me, me. Would there... No, it, it's a terrible idea. What is your terrible idea? We, we, it we can't be worse to... than the rest of the ideas you have. Eh, I have I have good ones every now and then. I beg to differ. Go on. But this is not an argument about intelligence. We're, we're we're just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that. Eh. Say what? But uh, I was I, I was I was thinking we maybe we sneak back around to the higher dragons office and see if he'll see us. Well, if we're just behind his window, I'm pretty sure he would see us. Whether or not he would talk to us is a different story. I think it would be improper for a man of my standing to be breaking into anything. So, although I like the idea, I suggest... Maybe I keep watch while you two break in. <laughs> hmm. Player in me goes, last time we've tried, the last couple times we've tried this, failure has shown up. <laughs> However, you don't really know if Joel's ready for this or not. <laughs> All right. What would you guys like to do? Hmm. The, uh, in the background, the Joel's going, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Zod, you, you scout real quick. I'm going to go see something, and I'm going to actually walk in, back into the temple and go up to the desk. Uh, all right, so... So I, so, so I, so I guess I'm going to sneak, sneak, sneak around and just see, see if I can fi find anything out. Okay, um, so Amelia, as you head back into this temple, um, the woman at the desk on your left looks back up and says, Oh, you're back now, huh? Take your bribery somewhere else. Does it look like I'm willing to depart with my coin? Kind of raising an eyebrow. Does it look like you're what? Willing to depart with my coin. She looks confused. I'm not the one that bri try to bribe you. What? What do you want? You're all faith and religious here, right? Yes, and I can clearly see that you are not. 
Yeah, well, maybe you guys can help me out. I was really kind of hoping to speak with the High Dragon, and I'm going to pull out Kari. <laughs> As you pull out this sword, he says, oh, 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 is it time for all the blood now? Um, yeah. Abort! The woman Abort! Is, her, her eyes are bright wide right now. She says, what? Hmm. What? what? Where did you get that, and why do you have it in here? Guards? Guards? Like I said, I was hoping to get some help with this. Uh, you can hear some soldiers, uh, not soldiers, some guards walking in from the outside. Um, Would we notice just... the guards go in? From yes, the... uh, you heard the, her call out guards, and you see these uh, four gold cloaks start walking into this, uh, towards the center. I'm going to follow them in. Okay, um, as the guards come in, she says... <laughs> What do you need help with to expel that, to uh, perform an exorcism of sorts? Uh, Maybe. Can the High Dragon perform such a task? Uh, of course, he's, he can perform any such task. Uh, you can why? see why 64 days could be a bit of an issue. Yes, that could be a very large issue, actually. Uh, take a seat over there and please put that thing away. It's... It's awful. All right. Then I will need my uh, friend to also uh, join me. Might as well take care yep. of two problems. In she one looks over at Greystone and Zod, both starting to peek in at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah, just go take a seat right over there. And she motions to the tables and chairs off to the left. And okay. we'll... Carry away oh and go take a seat. As you're putting Carly, he's like, "Ah, oh, man, I thought that was that I thought that was my chance." <laughs> I like to spill my enemy's blood, not my own. <sighs> um, as you guys motion over there, the guards, two of them follow you guys over as the other two head back towards the entrance. <laughs> Have I seen the sword before at this point? This is your first time seeing the sword. You see this dark demonic blade with like little it almost looks like it's got this bit of a red tint to it and it's got this demonic eye right where the uh, cross guard should be is it a short sword a long sword it's a long sword long sword uh mm -hmm. is it dual bladed or like it's just one blade oh uh, just one edge of it is sharpened okay um much like a uh, like a longer katana almost Oh, okay. But the hilt, I imagine, is kind of demonic. The blade itself is kind of katana-like. Uh, it's similar, but the blade is this dark black with almost this red sheen. Um, yeah. Like a reddish version of gold brand. Um, I, what the fuck is that? <laughs> It's a, an interesting companion. It talks a lot, but it only talks about one thing. It talks? Yeah, something Let's about go on. the blood of the enemy. You know. B blood? Evil night sometimes. That thing's evil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's helping us get an appointment today, so I don't see the problem. Oh, you gotta get rid of it? I don't know. I like the uh, reaction I got just showing it. What if... What if it got you killed just for showing it? I uh, didn't, so I'll drink to that. Unfortunately, I don't have a drink. Mm. I don't know if they allow that in these temples. What, like communal wine? They gotta have something. Why would they have communal wine? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, someone has to enjoy some alcohol. <laughs> Not any of the religions that I know of. As you guys are looking, uh, you see a couple clerics have gone over to where you pulled the sword out and are currently splashing some holy water on the ground there and 
splashing little bits of it along the path all the way up to where you guys are sitting. See, see, this is, this is, don't get, don't get my shoes. No, do not get any of that on my shoes. It's... See, this is what I mean. Kind. Like, this could get you attention that you might not want. I'm not, not unfamiliar with it. You like attention? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, like, bewildered and, like... You don't like attention? I'd rather get attention when I need it from the proper sources. Oh, like when you uh, put your hands on people and make them feel good, right? <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> like kind of this look of disgust on his face. <sighs> I mean, attention from others of nobility and in higher standing you know when you need to get something done as you guys are talking uh, a door opens and the cleric kind of waves you guys and over, over this way please please come see uh, I'm getting really... things done and I get up and I'll uh, start yes. proceeding that direction so as you guys I guess so. as, you, as you guys get up and start walking towards the door the, the one that was on the far side of the chamber uh, above the doorway, you see another statue of uh, Otis, the father. Um, appears to be in the statue holding a ball of light. Um, of light? Like, it, is it arcane? It's not actually. It's a statue. It's it's a depiction of the sun, rather. Okay. I was going to say, that's pretty cool if the statue is just holding an orb of light. You could make it's that not. happen. That's kind of cool. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rick, uh, it quick! Guys, <laughs> as you guys walk in, uh, you appear to be in this almost a uh, waiting room with some very lavish, nice furniture. Uh, you see um, kind of these two couches over on the side around a, a coffee table. Um, you see um, there's a couple easy chairs around a fireplace. It, it almost looks a little reminiscent of the Blue Book Library. Um, but warmer and cozier um, in the in the soft lighting here. Um, you can see there's torches on the walls uh, burning, uh, one on the left, one on the right. Um, the room extends outward in front of you about um, 30 feet or so, and there's another door on the other side um, with a guard posted just outside of it, um, and there's a desk just to the right of the guard. Um, uh, where the clerk that motioned you in sits back down and says, if you please wait in here, we'll be with you. Uh, the the high dragon will be with you right away. Then I will uh, take a seat on, I think, the couch with the coffee table and put my feet up <laughs> and get, make right. myself comfortable. Um, you notice the clerk is clearly a little bit bothered by that, but doesn't say anything. I'm going to stand next to her and try to look somewhat like a bodyguard. A lot like a bodyguard. I'm gonna try something. Okay, Zod. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna stand. Uh, I'm gonna stand near the door. Which one? Okay. <laughs> uh, the door you came in at, or the door leading onto the next chamber? Uh, door leading to the next. chamber. Okay, so you post up on the other side of the door next to the guard. He kind of looks over. You gives you a funny look and. He's watching you. Um, uh, but and as I go over, I'm just gonna say hi, and, I, and, I, and I'm just gonna stand there. Um, behind his helmet, you hear the gruff voice of, "Hi." <laughs> so, hi. It, so is the um, the, the sun god back there? His name? The high dragon. Dragon. That's it's in the chamber beyond. Yes. Hmm. Did, did he come out much? The guard looks away from you, silent. Ah. Oh go. Ah, silent treatment. I see where this is. Okay. Um. Okay. As you guys are waiting there, about 10, 15 minutes or so, um, 
suddenly uh, you, you hear this ding of the bell on the clerk's desk rings. He kind of looks up and stands up and says, uh, he's ready for you now. Come with me. Standing up about time. I'm going to let Amelia go in first. All right. Um, as the guard opens the door, um, Amelia, you walk through and you see this um, chamber where off to the right uh, you see this bookshelf chock full of books. Off to the left you see the same. Um, kind of in front of you you see these stairs um, that rise up maybe uh, about 10 feet or so to a landing. Um, then they split, rising up to the right and the left another 10 feet or so. Um, there's a balcony above. Um, everything kind of below those stairs, there's more and more bookshelves filled with all sorts of things. How uh, big would this... you say this room is? Uh, the room itself is probably about 40 feet wide. Um, uh, the stairs are about 25 to 30 feet in front of you. Um, when rising up, the chamber rises very high, probably about 60 feet or so, uh, and kind of tapers to a point um, up above. You see this floating ball of light illuminating the rooms, uh, floating probably about 20 feet off the ground in the direct center of the room. Um, the balcony above kind of wraps around the outside of the room, uh, and up at the top of it, you see a desk with a dragonborn, a red dragonborn, um, sitting behind it. Uh, from here, make a perception check for me, Amelia. Okay, from here, you can see this red dragonborn peeking up from over his desk, overlooking the room. He says, well... Come forward. Uh, he's got a uh, this golden monocle over his right eye, and uh, you can see just all sorts of trinkets and uh, various uh, curious things on his desk. This kind of little golden rod you can see sticking out over the edge of it. Uh, off to the side, you see this uh, suit, this apparently empty suit of armor at the top of the stairs on the right, and a uh, this uh, set of three spears. Uh, in a case at the top of the stairs on the left. What would is you like to do? Is it sad that the player and me going, are these references or actually have other importances? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll uh, approach him. All right, oh. as you step forward to the center of the room, Zod, Greystone, are you following? Yes. Yes. Can I look on in can I inspect to, or I want to see if he looks like he's of noble origin. Um, make a perception check for me. Hard to see from here. He's kind of up above and maybe about eh, 40 to 45 feet away or so, sitting at a desk um, atop the balcony above in front of you. Um, as the three of you step into the room, the guard follows in um, and closes the door behind you. Um, the cleric who came in with Zod, or next to, or right after Zod, uh, says, uh, Sir, these are the ones, um, the one in front there, she has the demon blade. Um, up above, he says, Well, bring it forth. All I do is I'll, you know, I kind of show it, but not with anywhere within his arm's reach. Okay, so so you're you're still down, uh, kind of on I the main level. Oh, you're going all the way up to him. Yeah, I, I said I was going to his. Okay, desk. I'm uh, as following you're walking her. Up the stairs, and uh, you get to kind of the first level, and he says, "Stop right there." Um, kind of on the landing there, about ten feet up. Um, the stairs move up to the right and to the left. They kind of split. You could keep going up those, or you could stay where you're at. I will pause and see what he does next. Bring forth the blade. Do you mean this, as I kind of pull it out, wielding me? And he says, oh, oh, oh is it time now? Carrie is really excited. Oh, please, 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 please. Is it time? Is it time for the blood? Looking warily at that blade. Um, I'm the, dragon, 
The dragonborn <laughs> stands up behind the desk, looking down at that blade and says, I see. That blade is not possessed by a demon. That blade is a demon. Mm. No real surprise. This limits our options. Have you tried to destroy it yet? No. Okay. Hmm. The cleric says, yes, well, I think perhaps we could... Hush. Hmm. I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Greystone, from up closer here, you can see this uh, dragonborn is wearing these very, very fine uh, black robes with this golden trim. Um, he's got various uh, kind of laurels and uh, awards actually pinned to it, which you find a little strange. Um, definitely of noble descent, um, but you're not sure. Make a history check for me. Okay, just give me a sec. 12. Yeah, you're not quite sure um, what noble house he would be a part of or where he's from, but you can definitely tell he carries himself as a noble. Hmm. Um, as he's looking down on you, um, literally down on you guys. He says, Very well. You need this blade destroyed, yes? I said I, I need help with this blade. I never said about anything about destroying it. What sort of help do you need, then? I'm gonna slowly kind of walk up the stairs. As you slowly walk up the stairs, he slowly walks towards them as well. Um, towards the top of the stairs. See. And as the two of you are now currently about mm, 10 feet away from each other as you reach the top of the stairs. Uh, did you go up the left or the right, just to clarify? The right. Okay. Let's see. A little Kari here. Has a taste for blood. Oh, yeah, I do, I do, I do, yeah. And I'm one for adventure. And this whole waiting in line, not really my style. So we need some information. And maybe I will relinquish the sword to you. What sort of information do you need? As you can see, this kind of creepy smile forms at the corner of his mouth. I kind of motion to Greystone with my head, like, get up here. Okay. Um. Let's see. There's the thing that I was reading about. So, would my position of privilege help me here? Potentially, you could try. That thing. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, okay, I'll go up there and I'll ask him. Um. We. We're, we're are from the Adventurers Guild, and we are trying to figure out what the cause of this uh, abnormal weather has been lately, and we're hoping to make it stop. Uh, Lady Brisnef of Independence has actually suggested you might be another source of information to help us. And what does that have to do with this blade? Well, if I start killing with this thing, what will happen? You watch what? as he slowly raises his arm up. I'm and as he does, back uh, away from her. 
on the far side of the chamber, you watch as those three spears lift up off the wall and start spinning in place. And um, all of a sudden, the suit of armor reaches out and sh- um, sh- right past your face. Uh, this gauntlet just sh- stops right next to you, Matt. Whoa, or, whoa, 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 whoa. The, I don't think we need to be getting into any kind of fights right now. I think. I would like to just get some information. That's all. I mean, are you not concerned about this weather at all? Make a persuasion check. Okay. Also, Amelia, make an intimidation check for me. <laughs> I'm just doing great on the rules tonight. Okay. Uh, at this point, the Dragonborn is completely ignoring you, Greystone. His eyes set directly on Amelia and says, I like you. You've got a certain moxie about you. Perhaps we can make a deal. What type of a deal? From what I can just see, you try to murder me. <laughs> threats given in response to threats taken so and the the suit of armor's arm drops down next to its side again he says you clearly have no issue running with darkness he looks over at Greystone and says you were saying something something about the weather things happening Yes, there's been crazy weather. We've been trying to figure out what's been causing it. We want to stop it. And do you? Is that what you want? As he looks over at Amelia. Uh, I did sign up to help him, and I'm one to stick with my word. So I'm here to help. Well, I have no information on the recent weather, although perhaps it is uh, a cause of those two fighting each other. Uh, he wasn't referring to any of you guys you, you pick up. Yeah, my guess is what you told us from the religion, so. And he says, I'll tell you what I know. Rod Flem the Bold is currently marching armies from the south. While Lady Morin of Grokenheim marches her armies of ice from the north. Wait, are ice these is... actual armies? Like physical manifestations of armies. Is that an actu- actual sword you're holding? Are those actual spears spinning off to the... This... And he points over at the three that are currently spinning. Um, they certainly look real. Yes, and this weather certainly feels real, doesn't it? True, true. If Lady Morn is causing the ice to spread, and Rod Flem is causing the fire to spread... The repercussions of their actions surely travel throughout the world. All right, Joel, can, where's my pen? Oh, I lost my pen. <laughs> I want to write those down, but I lost my... It's in front of my face. Give me, give me one second. Eh? Lady something from the north. Mm-hmm. Okay, go on. He looks at you and says, So, it might have to do with them. It might not. I have my suspicions. I'm going to kind of pull out my my tattered note from my pocket and go, What about this? 
the the treasure map you mean? Yeah, I, I know it's called treasure map, but to me. Okay, the the yeah, the notes left on that page. Um, as you pull it out, <laughs> yeah, he he takes it from you and he looks at it for a second and says, "Hmm, curious," and hands it back. Well, anything to it? Hard to say. It's the type of thing I would pay the Adventurers Guild to go find out. Okay. So the best you can guess is it's all religious-based. Perhaps. Perhaps not. All right. Greystone, do you have anything? Nope, that is all. Thank you, sir. Oh, and um, next time you won't need an appointment. We can come in whenever? If I'm available, yes. Thank you, sir. I will uh, start heading back down the stairs. Okay. All right. Um, as you guys exit the room, the, the cleric looks wildly confused and concerned. Uh, Something I... wrong? <laughs> Nothing, no. You seem no. Uh, confused. It's, um, well, Lord Abbasil is, uh, his judgments are his to make. Abbasil. See, you guys should write your names down on, like, placards to your offices and stuff. That would help people. Oh, oh it is, actually, right here in the door, and he kind of shows you where it says Abbasil Emiro. A squint. I think that says Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Abbasil, you said. How do you spell that? Abbasil Emiro. So that's like that. F I. All right. All right. Um, as you guys are headed out, the guard uh, and the cleric come out to the waiting room with you. The cleric sits back down as the guard closes the door. Um. So. That helps a lot. Um, yeah. There's two possibilities for the weather. Um, one lead is a war that is possibly... Uh, I'm going to say that hushed, actually. A war that's possibly going to happen. And... One second. All right, cool. Um, so just so you just so you're aware, Matt, you did some clutch rolls at certain times. Uh, the biggest one was probably that twenty six intimidation. Rolling a natural nineteen on that one. Yeah, yeah, that helped you guys get a lot more info than you would have gotten otherwise. Okay. I feel proud of myself on this one. Yeah, I that was. I have a demonic sword. These are religious people. Yeah. What can I do with this? Wow. So, <laughs> um, by the way, did you put Carrie away as you were walking out? Oh, yeah. I, I put Carrie okay. away. Okay. Just making sure. Cool. I was walking like, down the stairs. So, Good. So, so, so the one thing I was having trouble following her in that, was it the sword that, that was talking about shedding blood, or was it one of the clerics that you walked by with? <laughs> I was excited about uh, the, the sword. sword is the one who has been constantly hoping it gets to draw blood. I don't think that, that, Robert that, was that, there for that session. Nope. Like that, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, but I just wanted to make sure. It is a demon sword. I got it from hell. <laughs> was I there for that session? What no, session was that? Nope. 
So if there's yeah. things that are being hinted towards that you don't know about, your character doesn't know about, maybe your character should ask. If uh, they're curious. If they're not curious, don't ask. Then you'll never yeah. know. Like, someday you'll find out that sudden darkness can appear with one of my characters. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. All right. Let's go ahead and get back into this. So, as you guys uh, made your way back out of the, his chamber into the lobby area and out of the lobby area into kind of the open uh, pentagon shaped chamber of the temple. Probably want to go outside for this conversation from what it sounded like. Yeah. yeah. I think All right. So. Yeah. You make your way outside into the streets of New Brafka. Um, it's currently pretty bright out. Um, you guys find yourself uh, in an open street, and you're you're able to find a, a back alley where it's a little quieter, if you'd like. I kind of look over at Graystone and go, what do you think? Breaking in or my way? Breaking into what? We're getting to see the pie dragon. Is that oh, better you're asking for my opinion. I thought you were saying, asking what the future plans were. I'm like, we already talked to him. <laughs> So, um, yeah, uh, sorry for the confusion there. Uh, your way seems to have worked, but it mm, could have gotten us killed, I'm thinking. He seemed to have control over a lot of things in there. Yeah. Good thing I didn't attack him. Anyways, did you get enough information? I think based off of the two leads we have, one being an impending war and the other one being your treasure map, we should probably go with the treasure map. All right. Because... Well. I don't think there's much we, the three of us, can do about an impending war. Other than inform others and. Uh, uh, other than being a staff. And we might be called. Um, hysterics? Is that something? Uh, we might be called crazy for trying to shout, War! War! There's going to be a war! <laughs> <laughs> Joel, at this point, would my character have run across what we know as Crazy Man? Uh, you would have seen him from time to time, yeah. I I need I need I need to know if I heard him. Uh, I'll say yes. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be that big fellow in orange pants. Oh yeah, crazy man. Yeah. I don't think he can stop a war either. I bet he thinks he can. You know, I don't know what he thinks. And I've given up on trying. I mean, I could see him being a reason as to why a war would start. Like, but other than that... He's not no, some no. Helen of Troy, trust me. You've seen him, right? Yeah. What, those muscles? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so where do you think we should go with this map? Well, I said some spotted trees, which kind of south of Independence. So, if I recall the map right, southwest of current position. We'd have to follow the, uh, looks like a trail that goes down to some farm, I think, and then maybe go from. Are either of you good at alchemy? Mm -hmm. Probably not. It says in really big letters right there on the map, alchemy. And I think that is a flame that is going up out of some kind of pedestal. And it is also blowing, I guess, westward. So I guess you would maybe do something with fire, wherever that crater-like shape is. Fire and that hard. Well, maybe it's a specific fire. 
under handout. Well, there's a question. They don't know if it's alchemy or not. Do I recognize that symbol at the bottom right? Um. Could I too? Because I've been yeah. staring at it for a while now. <laughs> I would say that each of you make a religion check. Oh, it's a religion check. Probably not them. I'm fine with being more into mythology, but yeah, I can only test. Yo, Amelia, no, you no. have no idea. You've never seen it before. Greystone, oh, um, not sure. Mm -hmm. Does that include Zod? Zod? Yeah, you can make a religion check as well. If you get this one, too. You will be... Okay, good. Nope. Oh, yeah. Not sure. <laughs> you guys don't know. I was going to say, if I can... You showed this map to the High Dragon. The uh, Abyssil Emiro? Abyssil? Yeah. Then and he didn't really point good. out anything about the symbol. Do you think we could find anybody who might recognize the symbol? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I would say... Um... Would I know if this is even religious? But I think with that role, I wouldn't know. <laughs> so it could be a guild for all I know. You actually thought he was talking about uh, the little picture next to the words at the bottom. Not the, the symbol. The little growly face. Looking yeah, the one where he's vomiting? Yep. <laughs> oh, that that is a vomit face. Okay. That's a I vomit thought it face. was just an angry face. No, it's vomiting. I, I read. I was reading the. Uh... Oh, I read the thing about the vomit. I was trying to study this map while you were at the Five Point Temple. Mm, yeah, I guess if you want to see if anyone knows anything about this symbol. I don't know of anybody at this point. Mm, the High Please. Dragon. Doesn't know it. Hmm. All right. Well, it's probably what, maybe we can find a cartographer. Room? Cartographer in town, and maybe the cartographer might recognize some of the features on this map as local features. Okay. I guess we'll. Uh, Let's look for a check. cartographer. Who's leading the way? Uh, I am. This. No, okay. I would. Uh, we all Grace, are. Greystone and Zod both make investigation checks for me. <laughs> hmm. These two are currently like fighting for the front. See so who can make the who can find a cartographer first. Greystone, you uh, actually do stumble upon a uh, cartographer here in New Brafka. Um as the party as you pointed out and Zod's like yeah I uh, saw it first and, <laughs> um, you guys uh, make your way inside um, you see this older gentleman with a pair of glasses uh, he's currently got a map outstretched what's the name of this um, place name of this place is random name generator <laughs> the name of this place is um, the sea discovered. How do you spell C? Is it S E E or S E A or just a C? I just typed it into the chat. S E A. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be funny if it's just big capital C. <laughs> And uh, yeah, as you're looking covered. around what the shop, you see he's, as you walk into this, it's a pretty small shop, but on the walls he's got uh, various maps of con the, the old world. Um, and uh, he's currently got out on the table, you, you can see him there with a protractor, uh, measuring out some distances of a, what appears to be a map of, this, uh, of the, uh, the Great Bromthic Sea, which is the, the sea to the east, um, the old world being on the other side of it. 
that is a really good map you have there going. You have going there. Kind of lifts his, uh, pushes his glasses up off the end of his nose, like back up higher, and he says, "Oh, uh, thank you. Um, well, I didn't see that. What can I do for you?" Um, when would you have that map finished? The one you were working on. Oh my, it'll take quite some time. I'm still waiting on uh, word from another expedition that was headed down to the southwest of the sea. Um, I would uh, surmise it could be done in the next four or five months. Ooh. Well, are you are you working on this map uh, for someone already? Is this a uh, requisite? Uh... Yes, this is a commission uh, from your... Uh, from uh, King Frisia himself. Okay. I, How much would a, you... uh, a commission cost? Well, I suppose that depends on the map. Um, what what do you need? Um, actually, we know nothing of the area to the north, and wondering how much it would cost to have a map of the north, northern, uh, uh... like a hundred miles north of here. Well, I'm afraid beyond. that's all uncharted. I believe the Adventures Guild is working on populating such a map. Um, we actually are from with... the Adventures Guild. I was hoping we could actually oh. put that on our on our map, but hmm. yes, I'm afraid. Well, uh, you are the person to ask then. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, awkwardly giggles to himself. Well, have you received any? Uh recent updates that our map currently has uh why yes i have actually uh, come 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 and he kind of waves you behind the counter all right um as you step forward into the back room it opens up and you see a map um on the table that looks like this looks like our map Tell, An exact cool. copy of the map you guys are working at at the Cobalt Skag. Oh wow! How did how do you get a copy that looks so much like ours from the yes. Cobalt Skag? Well, uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I know Mister Soul is pretty good at stuff like this. I'll have to ask him about that someday. Hmm. Um. Anyways, uh, we were here for our, a different matter. I was just curious if there was anything I could get for our map, but seeing as there are none, um, we have a small piece of a map that is hand-drawn by someone. Uh, we've estimated it to be old enough that the original creator is now dead. Um, we were wondering, with your experience in maps, if you could figure out what what features what these represent. Oh. I, I was trying to think of words, sorry. Um, <laughs> words are hard! As you hand the map over to Mrs. Oh, uh, well, this appears less of a map and more of a a uh, sort of reference table. Um, almost as if somebody was leaving notes for themselves to, for how to get back to something. Um, how would you interpret it uh, against the current Cobalt's Keg map? Uh, we, we seem to think uh. that uh, the freckled trees start down here, and I point towards that... Um, that darker hmm. area we have marked on the map. Oh, uh, yes. I could see that. Um, I'm not sure what this shape is to the north. It, I don't know what that is supposed to be. Um, and the map has... To the, side a little bit. the map has more uh, trees somewhere to the north-ish. I could see that being... Uh, Maybe the were some of our compatriots have designated as the Whispering Woods. Hmm. Perhaps. Possibly. Although it, hmm. it's it really depends say. on how far north you actually have to go. North it, to Dick. 
Um, okay, hmm. so I'm not the only one who thinks it's a dick. That is good. Hmm. Perhaps that's a reference to a person or to something that looks like a bit of a phallus? I'm not sure. But as soon as you reach whatever that is, you would go west into a forest. Um, hmm. So based on your map, I would say maybe those whispering woods, maybe the woods off uh, west of the plains there. I don't know. It's, it's hard to understand without knowing what each of those symbols actually is. I don't believe we've had any reports of a, a crater like that or the strange-looking tree. Have you seen... No, never mind. Would Grace don't know anything about asteroids and meteorites? Mm. Yeah. Make a history check with disadvantage. Because <laughs> me, I'm thinking... It's a place where an asteroid hit, or a meteorite hit, but does Greystone know? Uh, you've heard stories when you were a kid. That's disadvantage, right? Correct. You've heard stories when you were a child of great wizards that could call calamities in from space impacting the ground. Oh, maybe my That's experience a... with Gideon? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that's 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 what comes to mind. Um Gideon's meter is slamming into the ground. Um mm. They never left craters though, so mm. it has never left craters, <laughs> but you've heard stories of great wizards that could. Gideon was just an apprentice compared to these That'd guys. Interesting. I don't think I could. Would would those when a wizard does that? Well, oh, um, what's what is your name, sir? Oh, my name. My yeah. name is Leonard. Leonard. That's so Just awesome. Leonard. No, no surname. I'm sorry okay, to hear that. I am Greystone. Just Greystone. And, and I am Zod. Just Zod. No, you're um, Zod the I'm asshole. Man, nice to meet you all. I am Zod the the amazing. You can uh, call him Mister Asshole. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Are you guys feeling cranky? Do you guys get cranky when you're hungry? <laughs> Anyways, um. M M Leonard, have, would you have, have, have you ever heard of wizards that could call asteroids from uh, rocks from the sky? Um, can't say I've ever heard of that. No. Uh, from where I'm from, there there's stories of wizards that could do such things, and I was. Oh, I don't doubt that they could. I just have never heard of an occurrence. Maybe if you had known more, but... Kind of whispering towards Greystone. It... Kind of maps. <sighs> Not magic. Rob People it's might awesome. talk to him, Amelia. <laughs> like we're talking to him. How often do you get customers? Leonard? Mm, it's not very often. Usually it's... Uh... Various commissions. Uh, sailors come in looking for charts. We See, he talks to pretty people. Nice. Uh, pretty often, they look for star charts. Occasionally, we'll have uh, the crown commissioning maps of the city, or of, uh, you know, the old world, but not too often. See? Um, we do have a couple visitors from the crown. Uh, a bit shady, if you ask me, but they come in uh, requesting to see the map that you guys are creating over at the Kobold's Cake. The, wait, the crown? What's the crown? Yes. What do I... Have I heard uh, of the, the crown? New, the, the new Frisian Regency. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, apparently they come in just to check up on your progress, see if you are made any discoveries they could use. Well, I hope they are proud or happy to see the progress we are making. Yes, our... they seem quite pleased most of the time. I have one last question to ask of you, and that yes. is, where can we find a stable? Stables. Uh, With I a stable imagine. master for horses to purchase, of course. Uh, beasts of I burden. imagine you could find some on the west side of town on your way out. We will we'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Leonard. Of course. And I'm going to head outside. All right. Well, um, you guys head out onto the street. At this point, it's late morning, approaching midday. That's a lot earlier than I thought. Yeah, we we were at, I guess our encounter at the uh, temple, the, the the Pentagon's temple was faster than I thought. Eh, no, well. all right. Uh, we're in and out. Where's the in and out diner? Anyways, where, where's the uh, west side? You said for stables. Mm -hmm. What do we have past it? Yep, you guys would have seen the stables on your way in. Good, 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 good. I'm going to the stables. Okay, you guys managed to head over there. Um, but, uh, there's a couple of different stables. Um, there's some very nice looking ones. There's some pretty shoddy looking ones. And there's one that's somewhere Does in between. These look like stables where I can purchase horses from? Or stables where Touch I away? would stable horses at? Uh, potentially either. I want to go to the nice looking one and as you head in there start, you see start dream big <laughs> as you head in there uh the there's a uh a bell keep at the front who opens the doors up for you as you walk in um as you head in there's a very finely dressed man at the counter that says hello sir how may i help you hello hello um and as, you... as Amelia and uh, Zod start walking, he says, eh, please leave your servants outside. Um, I can't really let them stay outside. They tend to wander. Ah, yes, well. You know, sometimes um, they just wander, and y you you lose them, and you have to get new ones. I, will I don't want to have to get new ones. <laughs> I will kind of stand just kind of back and behind Greystone. To his right, crossing my arms. Very well. As long as they don't touch anything. I, I, uh, I, I, will, st I will stand to, to his left. So, uh, what can we do for you, sir? Uh, do you happen to sell any hor have any horses for sale today? Oh, uh, yes, of course we do. Um, I'd like um, to get a, a quote, if you will. Uh, well, it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, you're looking for some riding horses, some pack horses, some war horses? Um, actually just riding horses for now. Ah, very good riding horses. Those are actually our cheapest. Um, and he starts flipping through the cards, and it looks like we have, uh, seven available currently, um, in a variety of colors. Uh, the cheapest is running for around. Mm, looks like 70 gold, but it looks like you're not the type of man who would look for the cheap ones. The most expensive we got is a prized riding horse going for 138 gold pieces. 138 gold pieces. Hmm. Well, my servants would need horses as well, but maybe not prized. I, I look at him. Um... <laughs> And I'm but, going to. Um, I'm not even going to acknowledge that you guys are getting mad at me. <laughs> um, you know what? Yeah, just be but like, do you have not... horses that suit servants well? Mm, no. Yes, of course. Um, if they are well-regarded servants, or are they simply, uh, well, such as your stable hands? Um, I would. I would do one of each. Uh, I pulled out Car uh, Kari again. No, 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 not now, not now! Oh, is it time, is it time to draw their blood? Um, Zod, what did you say before that happened? Uh, what, 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 did, what, what did you say again? 
too. Uh, hey? Yeah. It, oh, it, it, I, I, I know I said that I'm not a servant. As you're and saying you're not a servant, the man gives you a, a suspicious look. And then, and then I, I, as Greystone is attempting, is calling us servants, I, 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 Zod is just going to glare at him. Okay. Like, Clear, gotcha. clearly, not, clearly not happy. So as this is happening, um, uh, <laughs> uh, Striker, you pull out. Sorry, is, is it time? Is it time to draw the blood? Um, the man behind the counter t takes a step back and says, "What is that? And why is it in here? And why is it out?" You think I'm a servant, huh? What, 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 well, this little blade here's been really thirsty lately. Make an intimidation check. What do I have to defend against that? <laughs> what, what, oh, what do you mean? I thought he was talking to me. No. Okay. Um, what, what, what's Grayson's race again? Human. Grayson is a human. I'm not oh, a natural oh. human, but... <laughs> I, 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 as he says that, I, I turn on... Well, that's not very nice. It's just a human. Jeez. Um, I'm gonna shake my head and like pinch the bridge of my nose with my thumb and my middle finger and shake my head and slowly walk to the side of the room as uh, Amelia as you have this sword out the man behind the counters looks terrified of it he says, I think we'll take your nicest uh, horse guards 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 come in here and uh, as you uh make that threat, uh, you start hearing of uh, guards coming in behind you. Um, up through the through the gate, probably about 50 feet off or so, you see uh, what appears to be six guards in golden cloaks um, running your direction. Are they stalking me? Roll initiative. <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. Great. All right. Well, I make a blank encounter here. Uh, I, I, was, I was hoping you would be today. One second. No, nope, wrong color. This color. Sec, I'm drawing the map out real quick here. Um, do do. All right, and let's draw a little path here that they're coming in on. <laughs> Tell you love into improv battles. All right, so. What, what, what are you drawing this? Where you'll see it. You'll see it in a minute. Okay. Um, this guy. Putting him on the map. He's right there. Uh, let's put Greystone and Zod. And Amelia on the map. So these are just regular city guards, right? So You're not sure? Them. They appear to be. Damn. Those, they're, they're, they, they must be really special if they're that close by. I mean, this is the fanciest stables around. And now I need to roll initiatives for that. <laughs> Sorry, unexpected combat. <laughs> That's Matt for you. <laughs> okay, and now your step is this is on. And then. That. 
Okay. Zod, you're up first. You watch as uh, some guards start charging in. I need to take you guys on to counter. Boop, boop, boop. So for you guys' reference, um, you guys are currently in the building with the noble. Um, outside, outlined in brown, is this path that the guards will be coming in on. And it's there's currently this fenced-in area, which is kind of the larger blue area. Mm. So, um... I should odd. be at full health. Why am I not at full health? I don't know. Why aren't you at full health? Eh. Here's Something you never happened. took a long rest. <laughs> I you... never slept for a month. Also, you mm. currently have two study dice, I believe. I should have. Not just one. Why? Oh, yeah, that's a thing that's cool. on my character sheet. Okay. Zod, you're up first as you see soldiers starting to come in through the gates, and the noble is currently behind the counter up against the wall. Hmm, all right. Um, uh, for, so for first, I, I'm, I'm going to move, like, uh, can, can, can I see around the corner, or is it, is it, is it like, a, is it Yeah, you can see around the corner. You can see the guards running down the path. Okay, so, so, so I'm going to, I'm going to peer around the corner, and, 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 and I'm going to fire an arrow at the closest. Okay. Uh, make an attack roll. Oh. That is. All right, as you fire this arrow straight past the guard, it goes by. Uh, next up is Amelia. Of course, everyone can talk, don't they? Oh, I should start slitting throats. Oh, uh, yes, 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 please, please, please. Bonus action to put Kari away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get to the other side of the counter. I'm gonna right. grab the merchant. I guess I don't know. The noble. I guess is what I think the tarot is. Sure. Okay, so you grab onto him. Uh, make a make an athletics check. Athletics. Uh huh. To attempt to grapple him. And he, as you tr reach out and try to grab him, he kind of ducks out of the way and and moves. Um. Hmm. Let's see. So that's action, bonus action. Most of my movement. So. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, as this happens, the guards are going to start running up here. And, uh, oops, not, uh, oops. I drew some things on the wrong layer. Oh, well. Dude, the guards are just going to start pouring into this uh, with their spears at the ready. Um, but that takes all of their dash action to get right there. Oh, wait, no, no, right there. All right. Uh, oh, next up is the noble. The noble um, is going to grab his rapier from behind the counter and make an attack um, at Amelia. If this thing will go, bloop, 22 to hit. <laughs> yes, because I can totally take that. Uh, as it catches you right in the shoulder, dealing two points of piercing damage to you. All right. Um, next up is Greystone. I'm going to try to grapple Zod. Okay. Uh, Zod, and... are you letting him? Robert? What? Are you letting him try to grapple you? Uh, I, 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 I'm going I'm to suspect that I don't notice that he's trying to grapple Probably not. But would okay, you resist? So, Grace, so okay. as he as he starts to grab you, are you resisting at all, Zod? But, but well, uh, no. Okay. Uh, but, so, Grace, then you're able to successfully and, grapple Zod. And I'm right. going to shout out. Uh, Don't worry, I got the one who fired the the arrow. Everything's cool now. <sighs> okay. I, I, I just look at him and I just sigh. I'm like, 
Uh, Zod, it is your I'm turn now. I'm behind you. So. I grappled you. Well. <laughs> he just turns his head 180 in size. <laughs> All uh, demonic. <laughs> what would you like to do, Zod? I, 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 well, I don't think there's much I can do, but but I am going to try and... Now I'm going to try, try and get free. Okay. Make either an athletics or an acrobatics check. We'll go with... And Greystone, make an athletics check. Athletics check? Mm-hmm. Am I good at athletics? I'm okay at athletics. Uh, Zod, yeah. you can't quite get free of Greystone, who's currently got you wrestled up against I've him. I've got you in a full Nelson. <laughs> and as he, does, as he does, his head just look at him like, what's the big idea? All right, Amelia, you're up. Um, my turn to try to grapple Noble again. Okay. Uh, make an athletics check against him. He will probably succeed. To dodge out of the way. He fails as he kind of dodges his way. Kung slams his head against the counter, taking Knocks one point of bludgeoning out. damage, <laughs> and you have now have him grappled. I now have a meat shield. <laughs> On the other side of you, well, from the guards. I'm to kind of flip them around, I guess. Okay, uh, you could do that using your movement. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. With that, the guards are now running in, and they're going to come up, and they're going to start making attacks against you, Amelia, with their spears. First one is going to miss. Um. Second one. It's going to hit, um, dealing five points of piercing damage. Does the so nope? Here's... Oh, yeah. Never mind. So in here is going to run up and try to make an attack against you. 14 to hit. Uh, for me? Uh-huh. Yeah, it hits. All right, that'll do four points of piercing damage. This one here is going to run up. 22 to hit. Deals six points of piercing damage. Uh, this one here is going to run up and try to wrestle the noble away from you. So I need you to make a strength saving throw. Ooh. You succeed as he tries to pull him away, and you're still holding on as tightly as you can. Uh, and the next guard up here is going to attempt to do the same with advantage because the other guard is helping him. So one more strength saving throw. All right, they pull the guard out of your grasp um, as you are the desperately noble. trying to hang on. Can't quite make it. But yeah, they, they pull the, the noble out of your grasp. Sorry. And uh, with their movement, are able to get back to right here. All right. Uh, with that, it's the noble turn. He's going, oh! Oh dear! And he's just gonna start taking off running <laughs> at the front and away. Um, Grayson, you're up. Goes. Uh, I'm gonna try and spin Zod over here and force him down onto his knees. Okay, you're able to do that. And then uh, whisper in his ear, in his ear. Shouldn't have fired that arrow. I would suggest. Giving up and going to jail for a night. Oh, okay. Uh, Zod, it's your turn. All right. So, um, I, I, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put, put my weapons away and, and, and turn to the gar guards and be like, oh, all right, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have fired that arrow. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Because you fired an arrow. <laughs> because you're Zod. I mean a draw off. I mean Zod. <laughs> You're a racist. Is that persuasion? Yes. Persuasion with disadvantage. Ooh! <laughs> Holy crap. Extra points. <laughs> As they look over to you, they are... They seem thoroughly convinced that you are not a threat right now. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, uh, Amelia, you're up. 
this. Oh, that's something else. This is it. How uh, how high is the ceiling? Is the ceiling is probably about nine feet or so. That's not a very high ceiling here. Because I was wondering if it would be possible to have my Tempest Magic activate while I cast. Where was it? Should be. Yeah. That. What are you casting? Okay. You can do that. Uh, which way are you moving with the Tempest Magic? Uh, towards the door. Okay. Um, as uh, you guys watch, as Amelia starts making some motions with her hands, and she starts to flow up as this wind starts to whoosh, spin around her, and she moves towards the door ten feet, and then poof, and the entire chamber is just created with this twenty, or just with this uh, dense fog that you can no longer see. Uh, anything inside it except for five feet away from you. So, Amelia, you're moved to there. Um, and go ahead and draw where you're putting the fog cloud. Uh, how big is it? 20 foot? 20 foot radius, yes. And it does spread it around corners. They can see five feet in front of them? No, just kidding. They cannot see inside it. But they can still hear things inside. They're completely blinded, and uh, it's obs it's considered obscure. They're not blind, so like they could still see their hand in front of their face, right? But they can't. See it. There's just this thick, thick, dense fog. Okay. It's considered heavily obscured. Okay, I'm wondering. And you can't if this see is... either. Yeah, I'm wondering if this works better than darkness or not, because my experience with darkness is um. Well. Oh shit, where do I draw shit? Okay. Draw a rectangle. Oh. So let's say it's like right here, right? Ish? Yeah. Uh, 20 foot radius. So that'd be like there ish? 20 foot radius? No, there. bigger. Should just be getting straight to the guard. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we want it centered. Here. Centered like here? Yeah. Oh wait, it's a little bit smaller than that. It's like right there. Yeah, and then I can still move them, right? Yep. So you do still have your movement. Uh, uh twenty cool. feet would be. Or do I? Yep, you still have your full movement. All right. So. Should be able to get. Yeah. As you're running away, the two guards that you break contact with uh, hear you trying to escape, and they're both going to make spear attacks against you with disadvantage. One of them will hit, dealing four points of piercing damage to you as he's swinging out into the fog, and they hear you kind of going that direction. Um, it is now their turn. That's 20. You hear the, what the, what, what's going, ah! Okay, we'll make it a little smaller. A 20 foot radius? Yeah. I think that's what's it's going to be like a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah. So, right there. No, that's a 20 foot radius. So, the way it starts is to start it at the center so that, yeah, it's like that. Ish. 40 foot diameter. Anyway. Um, yeah. The guards start wandering around. The two that um, were that way I should start kind of fumbling around a little bit slower and cautiously. This one fills the wall and starts moving that way. Uh, actually, that's all of their movement because they're going cautiously. The the ones that are inside are like, what? What's going on in here? I can't quite... Uh, I can't see anything. Philip, can you see anything? No, I can't. And they're just starting like arguing with each other about not being able to see. Yeah, um, I can't see anything either. Oh, shit. I All right. Damage. Okay, good. That's a concentration spell. Oh, yeah. And Come on, Joel. 
You're right. Um, cool. All right. Next up is going to be the noble. He skedaddles out. You guys. Wait. No. Y'all ain't Zod, gonna catch isn't him. It? It's Amelia Zod then guards. Nope. Zod Amelia then guards. Oh, okay. Nobles, Greystone, you're up next. Um. Uh, can I see the guard in front of me? No. Nope. Uh, but you you can hear that he's right there. Uh, I'll say, careful where you're going. Don't run into me. Okay. And, and uh, I'll just back up and with my hand on Zod's shoulder, just stand against the wall and wait. Okay. Zod? Yeah. Uh... So, so Amelia is is there. Is, is, is there an actual wall here, or, or? Yep. So you're kind of up against a corner right now. Um. Could could, could we uh, could we try and and, and sneak uh, to the south a little bit and get away? Um. As far as you know, so there was the doors that you came in at. You also know there were. There was like a door somewhere around here. Okay. Um, but other than that, you're currently in a room where there's there, there's windows that you could potentially try to break through to get out, but. Hmm. Uh, great. Um, are, are, are we attempting to, to escape or what are we doing? What would you like to do? Uh, I I am not going to, I am not going to, to attack. Although this although this fog would provide a good cover for that. But so, I, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna move to here. Okay. Uh, stealth stealth. So Greystone, as he tries to move, are you still trying to restrain him? Uh, I'm just keeping my hand on his shoulder to know where he is. Okay. So as he's so if moving, he goes five feet away from me, I won't try to follow. Sure. All right, Zod, you're able to move, no problem. All right. So I I, I was just gonna move like here. I can move further than that, right? No. Uh, you're in a you moved. You moved ten feet. Um. So you do still have twenty feet of movement left. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to stay near Greystone so that he knows where I am, so that he doesn't get lost. Yeah. And I think All right. That, uh, Greystone, uh, oh wait, you I went. my thing. No. Amelia, you're up. Where's my power? Ah, uh, problem. Two screens sometimes. Ha ha! Any horses? <laughs> you look out, and there are actually a few horses to the south of this split rail fence out here. Let me let me put them in. Where are they at? Riding horse. I'm having trouble finding that. <laughs> so let's do this. There, there. Boop. 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 All right. To uh, mantle this fence, will it be an action or will it be part of the movement? Um, depends on oh, your acrobatics right. check. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just take off straight and try to. All right, attempt the fence. Okay. Attempt so you dash past. Make an acrobatics check for me. Oops, wrong button. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. I don't even want to know. Oh, wait. I know now. I don't see the DM on the list anymore. <laughs> I pushed a button. I was going for the journal or for the chat button, but I hit the bookmark right above it. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Scrolling down. You rolled a four. As you run and try to jump over this fence, <laughs> fall, and you are now currently prone, but on the other side of it. All right, right, so I'm right. here. Cool. 
All right, next up is the guards. Um, these guards are currently taking it slow, and as they start to wander out of the fog, they see you, and there she is, and they start running down that direction. Um, the guards that are in here are still kind of fumbling around, and one of them starts making his way, or two of them start making their way towards where they heard Amelia run off to, while the other two are just kind of staying put right here next to the door, making sure nothing can get through. Um, Greystone, you're up. Um, I will try and switch this fog out of my face. <laughs> As you waving your hand, trying to swish it out of your face, it does not dissipate. Oh, and you, you see, like a little bit of it dissipate momentarily, oh. and then more of it just fills right back in. So I'll go up to the guard. So. Everything all right? Oh, what? Uh, I think one of them escaped. One of what? The enemies. Uh, what enemies? Wait, you're one of the... What? I'm not an I, enemy. I don't know what's going on here. And he just kind of like puts his hand out like, stay right there. <laughs> all right, all right. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm me, Teddy. Uh, Zod, you're up next. Oh, uh, all right. Um... I'm 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 gonna I'm I'm gonna slowly approach one one of these guards, mm -hmm. and, and, and 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 I'm gonna in, in, in an attempt to persuade them, I'm gonna point try or like yell like to try and get them in the district and be like they, they went in they went in that direction. Um. Okay, so as you move up to this guard and shout out, they went in that direction. Uh, make a persuasion check with advantage because of your previous natural 20. Well, it's two more. <laughs> right. I've yet to see double natural 20s on... Uh, as you point, they went in that direction. The guards say, all right. And looking around, they definitely can't see what direction you're pointing because of the thick fog. <laughs> I, I was trying to infer a certain direction, but that didn't. Yeah, they they heard you, but they they have no idea what direction you're pointing. <laughs> I, don't um, think I, I don't think I know what direction I'm. Pointing. <laughs> uh, with that, it is Amelia's turn. Half movement speed to get up, right? Have to get up. Good. Let's go try to mount a horse. Okay, so that's either half of your movement or an action, but you don't have any movement left, so it'd have to be a dash. What? No, because it takes half to get up, half movement speed, right, to get up. Correct. So you're down to 15 feet left. Which I can... Which should they, will then take you 15 feet to get to the horse. So that's all of your movement to get to the horse. And then I can try to mount it as an action, right? Yes. Ta-da! We will try to mount the horse. All right, one second. Okay, so you're able to get on top of the horse here. And you're now on top of the horse. The horse has 50 feet of movement it can use. I have 50 feet. On your... Yep. Guess what we're going to do? What you going to do? Ride like the wind, bullseye! <laughs> All right. Uh, down to the south, you can see, you start riding it 50 feet south. Um, and as you get down there, uh, you can see probably another 20, 30 feet ahead of you, there's another uh, split rail fence. Well, I can't really do anything from this point. So. All right. Uh, it is now the guard's turn. Guard says, she's on the horse! Get him! Uh, as they start running and hopping over the fence here. Do, 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 do. Gonna use up some of their movement to do that, and they're still chasing. Um, these guards, hearing all of that happen, are gonna be moving that direction that they hear the shouts coming from, and they're gonna be able to get all the way up to the fence. So with the um, fog the two in here with your grace once he goes out of 120 feet. Um, let me double check it one time. One moment. It does not. 
doesn't dissipate after he re leaves range. Huh. How do you know if it does or doesn't? What do you check for? Um, it would say in the spell. Okay. If it, um, it would say in the spell if it if the effects end when you leave a certain range. Okay. It, it ends under these conditions, and usually under these conditions, it says out so many feet. Exactly. So, like, for this one, it says it lasts for the duration or until a wind of moderate or greater speed disperses. So, like, those are the only two conditions it'll dissipate, or if he loses concentration, or lets it go. Okay. So, so he can end it manually, but <laughs> at any time, whether it's his turn or not. So, um, Next up is Greystone. Um, I'm going to tell the guard in front of me. Um, well, first, I want to ask him, can, can we get through? What? Um, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to wait here till we, we figure out what are the F is going on. We are lawmasters from New Barrowford. You should let us through. And I'm going to try to like, make a deception check. Okay. And how do I make these uh, steady dice work? I can do it after or before? Uh, you can add a d4 after you make the roll, before but you before you know what the results are. Okay, so deception check. Mm -hmm. I want to do a study die. Okay. <laughs> Plus two. Uh, can I do both? Oh, it doesn't matter. No, you can only do one per check, but... Okay. As you uh, say that, he says, oh, right, right, step through. Okay. Um, um, you, know, you can't see it, but you hear him start to step aside out of the doorway. I'm going to run just straight along the path. It makes the most sense. Yep. Um, which is going to get me five. 30 feet. I can get right outside the fog. And then, um, and I believe that's your entire turn there. Yeah, yeah, because I did. So, Zod, you're up. Mm, question. Um, I have an idea. So, I have a Tinder box, which, which, which I'm, which I'm assuming are like matches. Basically, yes. I'm gonna. And, and, mm, uh, my, my, well, well, my my idea was: did, did the guards in front in front of me have any like like fabric or stuff that can catch on fire? Uh, you're not sure. You can't see in this fog. Oh well. <laughs> I, I, I'm I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the guards to to, to let me through and then. Yeah. I, I, All right. I, I, Make a persuasion check with advantage. Again. Come on. Give me. Damn it. Uh, as you're saying, All right. Can you let me through? The guard turns around and says, Wait. Aren't you the fellow that fired the arrow at us? I didn't no, no, no. no. Hold, hold on. You're right. No. He, may, he wouldn't know because he didn't hear Zod speak while well, he could see. He says, uh, 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 hold, hold on just a second. Stay, stay right here. Uh, just, just a bit longer till we figure out what's going on. Um, Amelia. I'm going to do a running jump over that rail. All right. Really do an animal handling check for me. And the horse is going to make a dexterity check. I said animal handling, not acrobatics. Oops, sorry. That's a lot better. Okay. As you start, the horse starts to jump over the rail and clips and breaks right through and tumbles down to the ground. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. As you tumble and roll off the horse um, as it falls to the ground on the other side of the fence. The now broken fence. 
<laughs> but now so, it's broken. <laughs> yes. Would it be possible to try to get the horse back up and get back on it? Uh, this turn, I'll say yes. You could use your action to stand back up and motion and try to pull the horse back up. Okay, I am going to try to do um, that. So to stand up is fine. Uh, do an animal handling check to get the horse up. The horse is like currently flopping on the ground, like, like what the crap? What's going on? All right. I have um, no idea how far I am now. <laughs> so from those guards, we'll turn everything sideways here for a moment, so we have enough room. Actually, we'll just put you over here. Okay. Ooh. And those guards are now. Ah, no. <laughs> and now, like here, and a little further away. Probably right about there. Cool. Hey, why'd they go that way? Uh, they are to the south. I'm just moving them, so we have enough room. Okay. So these guards are gonna run, run, run. Fifteen, thirty, forty-five, sixty. These ones are going to hop over the fence and then move. And it is now Greystone's turn. I'm going to start walking towards those horses. Uh, do I see any other guards around? You don't currently. Let's see. Uh, you could make a perception check to see if you to, uh, but then to verify. Is that a bonus action? That'd be an action. Oh. But like in the immediate vicinity, you don't see anything. Yeah, sure. Perception check. So perceptive. You don't see any guards nearby? Eh, I'm gonna still walk towards... Well, around... Around the fog first. Kind of... Okay. 5, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Alright. you're up. Alright. So, seeing seeing as how my previous tactics were not working, I I am going to attempt. Um, Zod is going to attempt to make it to to this, to this gate and out. I'm sorry, to where? Uh, I'm going to make it to the gate and, and then or to the see. door inside the building there. Yeah, and, and then and then get out. All right. Um, as you are backing away from the guards, they are both going to make an attack of opportunity against you, but with disadvantage because of the fog. And they are both <laughs> going to miss as they sh sh say, hey, wait, get back here. And they both try to swing at you uh, to no effect. Um, as you open that door up. Uh, can I stealthfully open it up so that? Uh, I'll say yes. Go ahead and make a stealth check for me. So, so, so they can't exactly hear where I am. Sure. All right. As you sneakily kind of move off, I'll say uh, you lose some of your movement speed, but they, you feel pretty stealthy about it, um, being able to get over to that door and open it up. And as you crack it open... Uh, it opens, uh, you're now out of the fog, and it opens up into another room um, that has a pair of double doors on the other side, and then another uh, door off to the right here. Um, and you also see in this room some tables with chairs that for some reason turned yellow instead of staying brown. Why did my paintbrush change? Don't care. It's your default color. Yep. When you reselected it, because uh, it's your default. Bad. So it appears to be some sort of fancy dining room in here with various tables and chairs. Um, it, it, at this point, is the door closed behind me? Uh, I'd say, yeah, you could stealthily shut it closed with that still through. Okay. Cool. And, and, and then, <laughs> and, and, as I go through, I'm like, oh, another room. Not what I was expecting. Okay. And I'm going to go toward, toward, towards this door. Uh, I, because you were moving stealthily, you don't have any movement speed left. Oh, fair enough. Okay. 
Um, Amelia, you're up. Try again. Try to get the horse up and running right. again. The horse can get stand up. You can get on top of it, and you get 50 move speed. We max move speed. <laughs> okay. Um, horse starts taking off running. What direction are you going? Towards the wall? South. Towards the city? Towards what? Uh, what way south? South is kind of parallel to the city, uh, the edge of the city, uh, parallel to the wall. Right we'll here. Do that. Okay. We'll be going south. It's you head late. south. I uh, will say riding horse at full speed. They're not going to be able to catch you. Yep, that's the goal. All right. Um, now the guards turn. Uh, the two guards that are still inside that far. Oh, where did he get off to? They start kind of walking off random directions, trying to find. Uh, this one here that gets to the edge of the wall, uh, edge of the uh, fog there, sees the door, and it's going to start moving that direction. Okay, I'll do it next round. Um, Greystone, you're up. Can I see if there's a surprise riding horse around here? Uh, you see, some, you can make a perception check to check. You Look can for see the two riding horses, but. Yeah, you can see the two horses down here. Um, Make a perception check to see if there are any of the prize ones. It's hard to tell from here. Alright, I'm just going to nonchalantly um, try to walk north and go over the fence. Okay. Um, you're able to hop over. And, you know, just walk away. Nope, nothing's wrong. Okay. Uh, make a... What would this be? This would be... I, Starting to like act nonchalantly, or yeah, make a charisma check, just a general charisma check just for me. Minding my own business. Okay. Yeah. You still look a bit out of place here, and like the heavy armor and everything, but you're minding your own business. Nothing's happening. Uh, Zod, you're up. Okay. I had an idea. Okay, so. Uh, so I have a hunting trap. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna set the hunting set up the trap here, and, and then after setting it up, I'm gonna continue my way to. All right. So you can set it up with an action, um, and roll a stealth check to see how well you're able to hide it. Uh, so 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 roll a stealth and. Uh huh. Just a stealth check. <laughs> uh, somehow you manage to like pull a tablecloth off of one of the tables and kind of gently lay it down right over the trap so it's unseen, but make it look very non uh, non it, it doesn't look out of the ordinary it's not very obvious it's camouflaged more or less, which is impressive considering you did this inside a building <laughs> Damn, um, Don, what's your background? <laughs> All right, assassin. All right, and then you can move uh, up to 30 feet. Um, look, look. So 30 feet. Right, right there. So I'm gonna, 30 feet would be. Yep, that'll work. And, and then, uh, yeah. Is that, is that my bonus action? Maybe. Nope, that's that's your movement, and it was the action to set the trap up. So you do still have a bonus action. Um, can I use my bonus action to go out the door, or no? Mm, no, can't use a bonus action to move. Okay, fair enough. All right. Uh, the guard's turn. One Amelia's second. turn. Right enough. Get rid of fog cloud. That's all I'm gonna do, and keep going. So you are gonna get rid of it. Yep. Okay. As you drop your concentration, it dissipates. And uh, one of the guards is like, oh, thank God. That's where I am. Huh. Uh, the one that was over here by the door is going to open the door up. Uh, seeing you in there, Jazad, he's going to start running. And let's see if he sees that trap or not. He sure doesn't. Uh, very carefully scans the room and runs in and shink, roll a 1d4 for me. Me? Yep. 
And he takes one point of piercing damage as the trap slams down onto his leg as he's currently now restrained. He says, oh, what the, what is this doing here? And the other guard starts, hops the counter and starts going, what is going on here? Oh, shoot. What is going on? Oh, that looks awful. And he's going to attempt to get the trap off of his buddy's leg. And he's going to fail it as he tries to pull it up and can't quite do it. Um, the guard. It is now Greystone's turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> Just go walk off. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 35, 60. Okay. All right. Um, and we'll say you're able to get away. No problem. Zod, you're up next. All right. So since he's stuck there, um, for, for, for my, so if if I if I were to fire, if I were to fire an arrow at them, would I would I be able? To... Would you be able to what? Would I be able to leave the room after? Yeah, you could fire an arrow and then use your movement. Okay, so so I so I was gonna use the arrow, and then if I hit him, activate hail of thorns. Oh snap! Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so one second here, hail of thorns. Let me double check that spell. It's a five foot so radius can, from the person he hits. Yeah. So you can you can cast it as a bonus action before you fire your arrow, and then when your if your arrow hits, you can activate it. Uh, okay. So, so, do, 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 so do I just fire the arrow and then? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Make your attack roll, and if you miss, which I think you just did, as um, you fire, tink, you just uh, the guard deflects it with his shield. And then after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up. Okay. So you did lose um, your spell, though. Um, you still yep, have so it. It's still activated. So if it, it's still active for the next minute, or it's concentration, right? Yeah, it's concentration. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you burst through these doors, stop changing color. As you burst through these doors, um, you are now find yourself in a kitchen looking room. Um, with if those will get out of my way. Da, da, da. There's a door currently at this end and there's another door over here. So you use what, ten feet of movement to get there, so you still have twenty feet of movement left in this kitchen. Uh, I, I <laughs> Uh, something tells me I'd want to go that way. But that way takes me in the direction of the horse. Where would you like to go? Uh, I'm gonna go. Towards, I'm gonna go towards the horse. Okay. Uh, which again, you don't know the horses are there right now. But as you flip this door open, uh, you do see these two horses kind of out in the paddock grazing, a little bit spooked uh, from the guards running past before. Uh, you see some guards to your south. Away is currently running after Amelia, um, who's riding off in the distance on a horse. Um, as you're coming outside. All right. Um, can I move any closer to the horse? Oh, uh, how much movement she is? So ten, fifteen, five. No. So that's all of your movement right there. Okay. Um, it is now their turn. Uh, this guard here is going to take an action, remove the trap from his leg, and he's going to start moving your direction. As he bursts through the door, as you shut that one, he's like, oh, he's over this way. The other guard is following. Um, Zod. Does the other one have to make a, some kind of save against the hunter's trap? No, it's, it's, it's been it. disarmed. Yeah, it's okay. been disarmed. Uh, is, 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 it, is it still my turn because I'm the only one over here? It is your turn now, Zod. So, um, this is a new turn? Mm -hmm. It's just you okay. and the guards. Okay. So, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go towards the, uh, the closest horse. 
and mm-hmm. I'm going to attempt to ride one. Ride it. So it'll take all of your movement and a dash to get up on top of the horse. Okay. And it'd be this one is the closest. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. As you run towards it and you mount up on top of this horse, um, it, you now have 50 feet of movement the horse can move. Um, the horse can now move? Correct. There's a hole to the south. Uh, oh, yeah, looking guard. south, you see some guards down there, but you also see a place in the fence where it's currently broken. Um, so, yeah, so I, I'm going to go in, in the direction t- towards that broken fence. Okay. All right. Uh, and for the sake of time, we'll say, as the two of you manage to ride out south, dodging guards and getting away on horseback. Um, eventually, Amelia and Zod, you two manage to meet up uh, as the horses are slowing down, breathing heavy. Um, Greystone currently walked away from this, just cleansed your hands of it, took off uh, to the east, back towards the city a little ways. Um, Amelia and Zod, what would you like to do? Um, I think we should follow the, uh, the wall until we can see, try to see if we can find, like, an, an exit on the southern side. On the I southern agree. side. Okay, so you guys start heading southwards along the wall, as the wall actually starts to curve to the southeast. Uh, let's go to Greystone. Greystone, walking back towards the city. I'm looking for a different stable. You do. You see the uh, the other two, actually. Um, the pretty shoddy-looking one, and also kind of the mid-tiered one. I'll go to the mid-tier one now. All right. As you walk in, you see a gentleman in okay clothes, and he says, Oh, can I help you, sir? Hi. Um, What kind of horses do you have for sale? Uh, well, we've got, uh, riding horses, and, uh, we've got some pack horses. Both are quite healthy and in good condition. So, a riding horse and a pack horse. How much would that cost one of a stature such as mine? Well, uh, looking... Uh, are you looking at it to carry your gear, or to carry you? I was wondering of both a riding and a pack horse. Oh, what's well, the, one what's, each, I see. What's we one cost do. versus the other? Uh, we could probably run a package deal for about 100 gold. Um, our, our, our pack horses typically run somewhere around uh, 40 gold each, and our riding horses about 60 apiece. 60. Um, but, you know, if you get one of each, I could probably um. knock a little bit off the price, maybe 90 gold. Uh, how about we try to get a further discount, um, and you, have you heard of the Adventurer's Guild? Uh, why, yes, I have, actually. If you can offer a discount to me and the Adventurer's Guild, I will surely ad- inform the rest of the Adventurer's Guild about the discount, and I'm sure you'll get plenty of business. Ooh, his eyes light up a little bit, and he says, huh? Ooh, an interesting proposal, sir. Make a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I like that deal. Hmm. Twenty percent off to all Adventures Guild members. In return, I ask that you please direct all of them uh, to our humble stables here, of course. What? What? Uh, what is the name of your stable, so I can Stumpy post Stables. it? At the Cobalt's Keg. Stumpy Stables. Yes. And All I'm right. Stumpy. Stumpy Stables. Why uh, am I Stumpy? You look down at this. Uh, he, he's a halfling. He kind of holds up his uh, his left hand. You can see on his, his little finger on his left hand is currently cut, cut off. There's just a little nub there. What happened to your finger? No, you don't need to tell me. <laughs> it's quite the mystery, huh? <laughs> and, well, that's why I'm called Stumpy, at least. You know that much. I, <laughs> it's a pleasure doing business with, with you. Thank you. Be 80 gold pieces. Um, yes. And I will hand over 80 gold pieces. All right, and you're able to pick up well, a writing horse? I'll hand over eight platinum pieces. Sure. Uh, you can do that and get a riding horse and a pack horse. Okay. I will get you stats on those later. Five, eight, 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 e
Um, are you going to name yours, by the way? Uh, I'll come up with names later. Not on the spot sure. right now. Sure. Uh, okay, so you're able to get both. Sweet. And I will start heading towards Independence with my two horses. Sure. And news of the, the cheaper horses. Cool. Uh, to Zod and Amelia, as the two of you are currently riding um, southward along the wall. Ah, why won't the thing move? There it goes. As you're currently riding southward along the wall, um, after going for a while, it starts to curve to the southeast. Um, after maybe another another hour, so it took about an hour of riding to get there, and after another hour of riding or so, it starts to curve to the east now. Um, and at this point, you start seeing where the wall is still currently under construction. It looks like I've got a base down all the way around, maybe 25, 30 feet high. And they're currently working on making the wall taller and wider. I think we're going to go until we can get through with our horses. All right, as you continue yeah. along, um, at this point, it is evening. The sun is starting to go down. Uh, you continue on for another hour. It starts to curve to the northeast. Um, in the distance, you can see where the town, uh, you can see the sea in the distance, actually, a little bit, not too far below um, the elevation you're at. Um, off to your north now, you can see kind of the, the Capitol Hill rising up above the city. Um, you continue on northeast in the direction for another hour, and you get to where a, a road is coming out of the city, um, probably about a mile or so from the coast, headed in a southeasterly direction. Um, the, the road heads out to southeast, and where it intersects in the wall, you can see a gate up ahead. Um, the gate itself is currently fully constructed. It, it rises the full 50 feet up in the air again, um, maybe 30 feet high archway uh, with some iron bars currently uh, lifted up. So the gate is open or closed? Sorry. It is currently open. We're going to go through. All right. Oh, one sec. All right, as you head out this gate here, um, you can see the sea off to your east and northeast. Um, more plains stretching out to the south and the southwest along the wall and further south. Uh, this path, uh, this road, um, it, calling it a road is generous. It's more of a trail. Um, kind of head southeast along the coast uh, out and ahead of you for about as far as you can see five, six miles out. So that is kind of here -ish, yeah. Okay, so there's like a trail along the coast like usual. Um, I think we should now be on the south side of the wall and kind of follow it. And then try to find like a nice little dark spot to rest for the night. Okay. Um, at this point, it's it's definitely gotten dark. Um, the, the there's just a little bit of light on the horizon on the west. Um, and as you're kind of traveling along the wall, the outside of the wall now, uh, you can probably uh, how how late are you going to? How many hours are you spending on this? Uh, what do you think, Robert? Um. Uh... Well, 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 I, well, I have dark vision, or superior dark vision, so I, so I can you see. You should be scouting for a good hiding spot. Yeah, all right. Um, I would like to make a perception check to see if I can find a, find any good hiding spots while we're... Sure, around. I'll allow it. Perception. That's not... This is... Mm hmm. Looking along, it's pretty wide open on these planes. Really, the only notable feature you see with inside is maybe a tree on the horizon every so often, or the wall itself. Good vision you got there, buddy. <laughs> nice. Um, let's just go for like. Oh. Well, how long have we gone 
on this outside part of the wall. Uh, you've traveled about an hour so far after dark. It's now currently dark out. There is a crescent moon above. Um, it's still warm. Um, still pretty hot, actually. I'd say upper 80s, lower 90s temperature wise. And you can, um, the, you're starting to feel a little bit of moisture in the air. Um, you just want to make camp then, Zod? Yeah, let's I, I make camp and, and see what the weather does at, at this point. All right. We, we are still guys... this. Okay. Maybe take a, do we want to make a long rest or a short? Um, well, how, how long do you need to rest? Uh, either or. Because my, cause, cause my character can do a short rest and be just fine. Yeah, I'm thinking if we wanted to just do a short rest, I can get a little bit more back and then, because we're kind of in the heat, so in two ways. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Could, could, heat on us, both by the weather and by the guard. So, would, would it, is it possible to find a spot that's in the shade? I mean, everything is in the shade currently because it's nighttime. Oh, we're in sure. the shade ah. of the earth. I knew that. <laughs> ah, I knew that. <laughs> So I think we just kind of do a want to do a quick rest so that our our horses can get some a break and uh yes and in in that rest I I'm gonna I'm gonna give my my horse uh one uh one of my rations just so yeah, I think this will probably consume two rations for each of us as you try to feed your rations to the horse it just kind of. And just kind of starts walking away and starts munching on the grass next to you. That works. Oh. I only will lose one. Yeah. All right. Uh, as you're making camp, are you making a campfire? Uh, that's pretty I'm gonna warm. Say, but... I, I, I'm gonna say no, just because a campfire would give our position away. To potentially... yeah, we're only going for a short rest. So. Okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay. As you guys stop and rest for a little bit, um, you can. Use any hit die you have if you'd like. Regain like back whatever you're supposed point? to regain. No. Nope. Well, well, the max is however many you have. Well, we will probably need to roll at least two. We'll probably roll two. Yeah, we'll roll two. For 11. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys are able to rest up. Um, it's currently nighttime. Um, maybe I'd say. It's approaching midnight at this point. Not there yet, but maybe eh, it's hard to say. So I'm thinking we uh, follow the wall until we find the trail and start going south. What do you think, Zod? Yeah. Sounded like we wanted to go here. Uh, can, can, you, can you highlight that again? Right there? Yeah. So we wanted to go here, and I know about the farm. I kind of noticed the farm here. So if we were to follow the trail, we can pretty much just go and try to get to the farm, kind of. Uh, all um, right. But not all in one go, but. Is, is, is this the farm we visited, like, like before? <laughs> this is the farm you know about, probably, from your first session, yes. The, with, with the crazy Maybe. lady? <laughs> yep. Uh, yes, uh, you would remember that old lady who hated Greystone. Yes. Uh, 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 yes. The, the old lady who hated Greystone. Yeah. <laughs> she... Oh, fuck you, lady. <laughs> that was, oh, that, that, was fun. that was entertaining. That's gonna, so that's going to be kind of my pitch to Zod. Just like, all right, yep. we can leave all the wall. And... Find that trail that leads south and maybe meet up with Greystone at that farm. That might be a good place to meet up. Yep. That sounds good to me. All right. So, as you guys uh, start heading out, um, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw, each of you. Because you guys up and about, not necessarily traveling all day, but you've been working on stuff all day. Amelia, you've got no problem uh, pushing onwards. Oh, that nice short rest that we did. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, Zod, 
no issue. Um, you're able to continue on for another hour or so. Um, and then are you going to continue on another hour? I think maybe we should have a long rest at this point because we were are kind of pushing fatigue. Yeah, and, and our horses are tired. Yeah. All right. Uh, do what we can to kind of maybe um, tie the horses to like a tree or something just so that they don't run off. Uh, yeah, so here next to the wall, you're currently where the wall is like parallel east-west right now. Um, you don't see any trees around here, actually, but you could find a couple stones you might be able to tie them to. Um, and then because of time, we are going to go ahead and have you guys fast travel back to Independence. Um, Greystone, you had headed out back there. Yeah, a while no ago. Issues getting back. Yeah, you were a while ago, but... Realizing Greystone hadn't joined up with us. Zod and yeah. Amelia returned back to Independence. Yep, yeah, so... New horses. They're free horses. <laughs> okay. Do they have to walk the path, or do you just do as a crow flies? I do it as the crow flies, but I'm doing it from Pharaoh's farm. And, well, I'm doing it from the wall to Pharaoh's farm back to Independence. From the wall to Pharaoh's farm farm is 25. 15 on my account. Anyway. I have my price. So... Which is three hexes worth. Which is, if I go back to my thing, three times five is 15, times level three, 45 silver pieces. So four and a half gold, four gold, five silvers. Four gold. I really should raise that price. Oh, well. Yeah, it's going to let us low. get kind of reckless. Yep. Uh, it's because we have horses. That's why it's cheaper this time. Sure. Um, I'll, sure. I'll... Nah, you guys are just bad at maps. That's all. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm bad at describing maps. No. Um... <laughs>